the mysterious guest. I'm telling you, there's no way you can do it. You're a leopard. And leopards don't fly. But that's only because leopards don't have any wings. Or at least, not before today. Leo, what exactly do you need those wings for? What do you mean, what for? Come on, let's fly with the eagles. We'll be able to see the whole taiga. Aw, oh, Tig, come along with me. No, 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 no. I already flew with the eagles once before. That was plenty. If you say so, I'm going to fly. <laughs> You see, I told you so. Leopards don't fly. Maybe my wings are a little too small. I need some bigger leaves. Leo, stop picking leaves, would you? Let's just go and play. Tig, you go. I'll go later. All right, come and play after you're done flying. <laughs> My feathered friend. Wow. Would you look at that? Tig, Tig, wait up. Oh, Leo, did you fly already? Tig, guess what I saw? Just now in the sky. It was huge, with big wings. Was it an owl? No, it wasn't an owl. No way. It was this big thing that was flying and made of wood, and it landed just over there. <laughs> You're kidding me. You saw a wooden bird? You're too much, Leo. You spend too much time daydreaming about flying. You don't believe me? OK, fine. I'll go and find it all by myself. Wow! There it is! The wooden bird! Yeah! This is definitely much better than leaves. Interesting. I wonder who made it. Whoa! Oh, and what's this? Footprints? They're so weird! Whose are they? What's this? What's this I smell now? It smells like a leopard cub. Hmm, and something else. Ah, something else new. Something that smells truly delicious. Tig, hurry up already. Come on, it's my turn now. Uh-huh, hold on, just a little more. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Tig, <sighs> you've been on the swing forever. We want a turn. There you are. I have something to tell you all. You'll never guess what I saw. A big bird made out of wood. It was gigantically huge. It was flying in the hold sky. Hold on, hold and... on. A giant flying bird made of wood. Ugh. Wait. Leo saw that as well. But I didn't believe him. Really? Where's Leo anyway? He went to the swamp to look for that big flying thing. He said that it went over there. In the swamp? Mama just told me that he was in the swamp and he saw the wolf. The wolf? Leo's there all by himself. Hurry, let's run. We have to warn Leo. Leo, Leo, wait. <laughs> hey, <gasps> hi there. <gasps> huh, that was awesome. What a big jump. Who are you? Uh, what do you want from me? Well, nothing. I'm Leo. I just saw your thing with wings flying in the sky. Why were you crying? I wasn't crying, okay? <laughs> we, monkeys of the Guardian tribe, never ever cry. Hmm, who do we have here? Hmm. Oh, a little, little animal. Something that smells very appetizing. If it isn't my old friend, that's meeting you here. Ah. Hurry, run! Ah. You're not getting away this time. Oh. Ah. This way, jump up here. What's wrong? Can't you 
climb up? <laughs> Maybe not, but I can chew. So, you mean that chubby boar, the tasty weasel, the lynx, and the tiger cub? Ah, ah, that's excellent news. Oh no! Tig! Mila! Uh, do you think your friends can scare him off? We'll have to warn them! Lara! Kuba! Stay far away <laughs> from there! <laughs> you louder leopard cub! Then they'll get here even faster. <laughs> what do we do? I'll go and warn them. By the way, my name is Lily. <laughs> oh, huh? no matter. She probably won't taste good anyway. <sighs> but I won't let this leopard cub get away from me. Uh. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> This is it! It's the big wooden bird! That's the big thingamajig. But where's Leo? Well, maybe whoever flew this thing was the one who captured him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come clean. Where did you take Leo? Um, um, give up! <laughs> You're going to break a tooth! <laughs> they say that eating a leopard is very bad luck. Whoever eats one loses all his fur. Huh? It's true. It's better to be hungry than bald. Ah! 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 Hold on, ah! Leo. Ah! We're coming. Ah! Ah! Ah, look, Tim. We're flying. Leo, hop on. Sorry, I should have believed you when you told me. It's okay. What matters is that we're flying! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay then, so tell us, Lily, how did you end up in our forest? Uh, I sort of made a mistake. Since ancient times, our tribe of monkeys have guarded the treasure of the jungle. But one day, someone started hunting the treasure, and they almost stole it. So my father, the Monkey King, decided to hide the treasure of the jungle in a secret place, on an island along a raging river. The only way you could get there is by flying over. And so, my father built a big flying ship. And I... I really wanted to try it out. So one night, when everyone was asleep, I climbed in and took off. I just wanted to try it out. But then, there was a huge hurricane. The wind swept me up and carried me along for days. It only just died down today. But I had to find a place where I could land the flying ship because I couldn't turn it around by myself. And now all because of me, my home is in danger. <laughs> and so is the treasure. It's all my fault. <laughs> oh, don't be sad, dear little monkey. I think that I know a way to get you to your home. Really? Which way do I need to go? I've heard it said that the tribe of the little monkeys reside far, oh, so far to the south. You would have to fly for several days, so the morning sun is always shining down on you. As long as you travel with true friends, you will be safe, no matter where your journey takes you. But where am I supposed to find true friends? <sighs> Who's gonna want to fly with me? We'll fly with you. Won't we, guys? Yeah, we'll go. let's go. Listen, Lily, what kind of treasure is this treasure? It's a secret. 
Only the tribal elders know what it is. The only thing I know is that it supposedly works miracles. It could work miracles for me. That treasure's gonna be mine. We gotta get over there. Do you hear me? We gotta go. Before the spots and stripes get it, we gotta get over there. Spike, but tell me, how are we gonna do that? How do you think? By flying! <laughs> the Guiding Arrow. <laughs> huh. Okay, the first one to finish tying a knot can be the captain. It's going to be me, no doubt about it. I'm starting to think that there's something wrong with my rope. <laughs> Tig, you're not going to be the captain. Oh. Look, guys, it's easy. Just watch me. Put this right here, like that, and then look. Ta-da! <laughs> you're all done. Wow, that's awesome. Whoa, look at that. How did you learn to tie a knot? My dad told me, be strong and overcome an obstacle. <laughs> but be wise, you'll last the whole journey. <laughs> Don't even start. Hey, you guys, we made sure to only pack our essentials. Uh... Pass the ends to me. Hee! Okay, here we go. It won't take off. <sighs> yeah, we've got too much stuff on board. Only bring the things that you absolutely need. You mean like this? I'm not going anywhere without soap root. Or what do you think, that I'm going to allow myself to turn into a piglet? <laughs> oh, sorry, Kuba. I didn't mean it like that. It was just a figure of speech, I swear. <sighs> Better not touch Kuba right now. He's feeling down. Remember the pig, Lada? She moved to another forest with her brothers and sisters. Hey, guys! <laughs> what do we need that for, We huh? can give it to the monkeys when we arrive. A gift from the taiga spirit to their spirit. We can't be their guest and show up empty-handed. They're really going to love it. We'll take it with us. But... No buts allowed. There's only one rule on this ship. Everyone has to listen to the captain. And as it happens, the captain of the ship is me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's Kino! Kino! Hi! <laughs> Whoa! Look at that technique! Did you see how I taught you? Of course! You're amazing! <laughs> I can see that you're flying now, too! Yeah! We're all flying! We're traveling far away! That's great! The key is not to get lost! You do know how to fly back to your home, don't you? Uh, well, not really. How do you do it? I always know where I am. I don't look. I am an eagle. We birds all have a special sense of direction. Do you have something like that, too? Nope. We don't have anything like that. Stop! Stop the oars! We're not going anywhere until we know exactly how we're getting back again, or we'll end up lost like Lily. Hmm, I know who can help you. Magnetic rivers. They're invisible, and yet they flow all around the planet, flowing from the north to the south. We bird folk are able to feel their currents. We don't have that sense of direction, so is there any way that we can see these flowing, invisible rivers? Hmm. Yes, there is a little trick. Our Earth is just like a great big ball. It is so enormous that we are all pulled toward it. That's called gravity. That's why none of us fall off of it. However, in the taiga, there is a secret spot that's hidden away. 
where there's absolutely no gravity to be found. That's because of the magical black stone. But reaching the stone won't be easy. No, but if someone manages to break off even the smallest little piece, they'll see that the magical black stone piece will always be pointing from north to south. No matter how you turn it or where you face it, if you do that, it will surely become the guiding arrow. Well, we've got to find that guiding arrow. Then we definitely won't get lost on our way home. Then let's go find that stone. Hey, guys, <gasps> can I go along with you? No, huh? it's much too dangerous. And anyway, the captain must never abandon the ship. But... Uh... No buts allowed. You see? And you wanted to be the captain. Sometimes it's not so much fun. You're right. We would have to stay on the ship. We would have missed out on all the adventuring. We've searched half the taiga, but we still haven't found anything yet. How are we supposed to find the secret spot? Oh! Who's there? Oh, Phil! You really startled me, huh? I've been alive for a hundred years, and this is the first time I've ever startled anyone. A hundred years? Wow. Then maybe you know where we can find the... Hey! Hey, hey! What? Who's there? It's me again. Tig, can you help us out? We're trying to find the traveling stone. And you won't be able to find it. It will only appear when the stones become light. Oh, and when they... Oh. Tig, you hear that? She just said that when the stones become light and when they... But she didn't say when they what. Who's there? Please excuse me. When they what? When who does what? When will the traveling stone show itself? It will only show itself once somebody melts his heart of stone with the sweet sounds of harmony. Oh. Excuse me, Auntie Turtle. We won't bother you anymore, I promise. Just tell us where to go to find these weightless rocks. We really need your help. The midday shadow of a stone birch tree. Oh, knows where. The midday shadow of a stone? Wait, what? Of a birch stone tree. I know exactly where it grows. And it's noon already. We need to hurry. <sighs> Yeah. Tig, look, it's the birch stone tree. Follow me. Yeah. But where are the weightless rocks? Maybe there isn't any such thing as weightless rocks. Maybe it's all a fairy tale. I, I mean, how can stones even fly? Actually, they can. Look at this. Ha <laughs> ha! Hooray! We found it! We finally found the magic black stone! <laughs> now we just have to break off a piece. And I know how! Ha! <laughs> ha! See that? I'm riding a floating stone! Wow! But wait for me! Ha! <laughs> ha! Awesome! <laughs> hey! Um... It looks like we got ahead of ourselves. The magic black stone is pushing all the other rocks away from each other. We'll never be able to reach them. But the turtle told us somebody must melt his heart of stone with the sweet sounds of harmony. Remember when you threw a stone and it fell and... the magnetic arrow? We, we did! did. <laughs> Good for you. 
So now, you will always be able to find your way back home without ever getting lost. Thanks, Thanks so, so much, much Grandpa, Grandpa Eagle. Eagle. Of course. <laughs> it's time for every one of you to all fly the nest, my little ones. Release the moon rings. Lower the rudder. Raise the wings. We'll steam ahead. Fly away, my nestlings. Let's do it. <laughs> Spread your wings. But never forget that we love you and we'll be waiting for you right here. I'm really going to miss them, Grandpa. I'll hold on to the guiding arrow, OK, Leo? Why do you get it? Because I found it. And you're only the first mate. Why not me? I was there too. I helped to solve the riddle. But I found a turtle, and she told us everything. Thanks to me, we found it. Hey, what about me? That's it, good job. Keep going, go, keep going. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a bird are you? <laughs> Spike, what can I do? This thing still won't take flight. We're going to figure it out. Oi, oh, these wings don't work. We need new ones. New ones? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bird? What kind of bird? I think <laughs> we found ourselves some new wings. <laughs> <laughs> Lost. The rudder ready? It's all set. Where's the lookout? Right here! Perfect! Dick Hand, are the supplies ready? Oh no, guys! We haven't got any supplies left. Koopa ate it. Right. That's okay. We'll get some more. <laughs> <laughs> I could really go for a delicious little rabbit. <laughs> or maybe a little mouse. <laughs> Remember, we have some supplies back there. But we can't go alone, or the vulture will catch us. <laughs> Tig, Lily doesn't know anything about our forest. You know she could get into real trouble. Hey, nothing's going to happen to her. We'll all be together. When it comes to the taiga, I'm an expert. I know every blade of grass. I know every bush. <laughs> Uh, I, I fell on purpose, you know, to show you one has to be careful. Also, watch out for the pine tree roots. They might trip you up. Look. <laughs> you know, around here, I'm basically a king. The others call me Tiger, King of the Taiga. Huh? But be careful under the cedar trees. Hey. <laughs> I haven't been to this part before. Take, I'm not used to it. You're so funny. I usually take a different route. I could go for a tadpole or maybe, maybe a little mouse. Huh? Now that looks like lunch. Hey, don't you worry. You don't have to be afraid when you're with me, okay? Lily? Hey, do don't eat that. Let's go. Yeah. I'm Rick Rog. Oh my, ha, you're really fluffy. Can I pet uh, you? Hey, keep your hooves off of me. <laughs> All right then. You want some grass? Why aren't you eating? It's juicy. All right then, not hungry. What are you doing here anyway? Do you need some help? I've never seen cats around here before. I'm not a cat. I mean, does Vulture live up here? 
He's over there. Over where? You sure that you don't want any grass? Try it. It's delicious. Uh, thanks. How about I take some with me for the road? I am in a hurry. Lily is in big danger. <laughs> it's time for a delicious feast. It's my lucky day. I'm not lunch. I'm Lily. Hey, you mean you're still complaining? Ah, well then, I guess that today's lunch menu includes something quite exotic. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to call my friend. Sit here and be quiet. I said be quiet! <laughs> Goodness! I didn't know goats could climb so easily. Only mountain goats. There's a whole legend about it. I'll tell you the tale, my striped fluffy friend. It goes like this. It was a long time ago. We mountain goats used to live in the forest. We had a fearless leader with great big horns, almost like mine. One day we gathered in the meadow to celebrate the birthday of our fearless leader. We were busy celebrating when all of a sudden a forest fire began. The leader's advisor warned him about the fire, but he didn't want to end the celebration. He had hoped that the fire would burn on the other side, but no one tells a fire where a fire should burn. The flames surrounded the goats on all sides, but what could the goats do? There was only one way out, up the mountain in the middle of the forest. However, the goats couldn't climb it. The leader turned toward the mountain. He started to complain about the dry trees, after all, they're to blame for what happened. If they weren't so dry, then they wouldn't have caught on fire. So he asked for help, but the mountain didn't respond. So the leader thought, who else is to blame? Aha, the leader said, it's the wind who's to blame for the fire. It blew the flames toward us, but the mountain didn't respond. The fire was getting closer and closer. They could feel it getting hotter. Then the leader finally said, I know, okay. I'm the one to blame for everything, you know? I really wanted to hear the goats celebrating me, and so I didn't tell them about the fire. Help me to help my herd, please, he said. And if you want, I'll even stay right here. And then the mountain helped the goats climb up. It gave us the ability to climb any mountain, and we were all led to safety. We haven't left the mountain ever since. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want some grass? Do you need some help? Hold on tight, kitty cat! I'm not a cat! Whoa! Uh, ew, whoa. Uh, uh, oh. Here, this is the final stop. You're on your own now. Huh? some grass. Why would we want grass? Uh, we are having ourselves uh, an exotic lunch. So get lost. Are you sure you don't want any grass? No, we don't. Well then, you can taste this, birds. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Stop, don't do that. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> I really wanted to have an exotic lunch. Let's get out of here. You haven't heard the last of us! Uh, 
Thank you, Rick Rog. <laughs> no worries, my striped fluffy friend. Tig, I'm sorry that I that we Lily, I wasn't watching. I let you down. I'm sorry too. Will you forgive me? <laughs> Anybody want some grass? Try it. It's delicious. Where were you guys? And why didn't you get any supplies? Uh, um... It was all my fault. Well, to be honest, I... Uh... Anyone want some grass? What are we, goats? Chewing on grass? <laughs> Don't worry. We got a lot of supplies. Let's go. <laughs> to the ship! To the ship! <laughs> so tell me. Are there really a lot of mice, Spike? A lot of mice? There's gonna be mountains of mice! Yeah! For real! Mountains! Hoot, hoot. Uh, uh, are there... are there lots of fish? It'll be overflowing with fish! Hoot, hoot, hoot. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Here we hoot, go! Hoot. The spot of strike won't hoot. get away with it this time! Hoot, the monkeys hoot. are finally gonna hoot, be yours! Hoot, <laughs> hoot. <laughs> 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 Cry, Melky. The spots and stripes flew somewhere over this way. That means the treasure's gotta be nearby. But we're already out of food. Uh, this is the last berry we have. That's the last one. Give it to me. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 no! What's going no. on? Um, beautiful land. I told you, didn't I? Come on, my feathered friend. There's plenty to eat just up ahead. <laughs> 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 Oh, mice! Happy oot, haunted! Oot. <laughs> land! Land! Beautiful land! Oh, 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 how I missed you, land! Hold on! Spots and stripes have to be somewhere nearby. Ah! Oh, oh, ah! Uh, uh, Who are you? You fell right out of the sky. What are you running from? But, 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 but running? We're not running. Nope. Not running. You just said spots and stripes have to be somewhere nearby. Who are they? And why are you afraid of them? Wait, uh, afraid? Us? Oh, oh, why, yes, of course we're afraid. Spots and stripes are, uh, they're, uh, uh, they're horrible monsters. Worse than you. Hmm? Uh, I mean, you're better. Uh, they kidnap our entire family. Uh, everyone. Uh, and now they're hunting me. And my brother. Right, little bro? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> poor little us. Oh, poor us. Poor us. <laughs> Milky? What's up? Poor us. Oh, yeah. Poor uh, us. Oh, yes. Poor oh, us. Poor oh, miserable so little hungry. creatures. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hmm. We'll be more than happy to take you in and give you some food. Come along with us. <laughs> so go on and tell us more about the monsters you spoke of, the Spots monster and the Stripes monster. Well, well, they're, uh, they're, uh, I mean, they're, uh, uh, blah. Wow, big eggs! <laughs> um, I'm, do, do those eggs taste good? Do they taste good? Are you being serious? Those eggs are platypus eggs. Those eggs hold our future children. Uh, no, 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 no. You misunderstood him, your platypusness. What he meant was that the Spots monster and the Stripes monster really love delicious eggs for lunch. Yeah, lunch. 
And dinner as well. And breakfast also. What? But they wouldn't dare. Yes, beware the spots and stripes. It would be best if you attack them first. These monsters are going to regret ever stepping foot near our great village. Right, my platypus friends? Yeah, we won't let anyone take away our children. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Great idea, Martik. In the meantime, we'll build a shelter for tonight. Tig, let's go. Where are you going? With you, to do reconnaissance. <laughs> Martik, you're too young for reconnaissance. Why don't you go and help the girls? La, 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 la. We're discovering a world of miracles, and we cannot That's wait. That's not fair. I want to go on a reconnaissance mission, too. I mean, after all, it was my idea. Cuba, we'll show them. You and me are not little babies. Come on. I wonder, do you think there are any monsters out here? Whew. Now that I've stretched my legs, I'm ready. Huh, huh. I'm ready to fight them. Huh. Hey, is anybody here? Hello? Where is everyone? Ooh. 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 Monster and Stripes Monster. They fit the description. They're really small for monsters, though. Hey, who are you calling a monster? <laughs> Us? I think they're still children. Hey, let, let us, us go, go already. already. Hey. It's disappeared. One of the eggs has disappeared. Did you steal one of our eggs? We didn't steal anyone's eggs. They must have hit it. Where is it? Confess. You're not getting out of that cage until you tell us where the egg is, you monsters. We didn't steal anybody's eggs. Kuba, we have to find that egg somehow. But where do we find a missing oot, egg? Oot, oot, mice. <laughs> mice. Whoa, I know him. That silly villain from our forest. But what's he doing here? Let's follow him. <laughs> uh, stealing their eggs. What a brilliant idea. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> now, spots and stripes will leave us alone. <laughs> it seems like local mice don't want me to find their hiding places. Well, if you say so, then let's keep flying. The treasure awaits us. Of course. It all makes sense now. You keep them here. I'll bring back the ones with the beaks. Huh? Wait, wait, who's over there? <laughs> it's Kuba. Get him. He's all alone. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get you. <laughs> I guess you're right, huh? <laughs> hey, Billy! Come on, let's move! Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're overloaded! What are you doing? Get out of here, Kuba! Yeah, go away! <laughs> Thank you so much, brave Martik and courageous Kuba. 
You saved our children. Please forgive our rudeness. Your enemies managed to deceive us. Martins can be like that. But how did they get here? Can you please tell us exactly where here is? Everything is so strange and so different. And you are all so interesting. Yeah, well back where we come from, only the birds have beaks like that. We're surprised to see you as well. But there's no need to be alarmed. There is an ancient legend that long, long ago, the land was once one and it was surrounded on all sides by vast oceans. The ancient earth had all kinds of different animals and birds. Some were like you, and some were like us. Yet they all lived together, and nothing ever came between them. But then, disaster struck, and the earth split apart. Parts of the earth floated away on the world's ocean. You floated to the north, and then became Eurasia. Well, we platypuses stayed on this piece of land, which is called Australia. So that means this is Australia? <laughs> what are the Martins doing in Australia? Villain, you keep flying. The treasure's nearby. What is this? All the leaves have turned brown. It sort of looks like a drought. Do you think we should land? Whoever lives here probably needs some hey, help. Hey, you guys! Take a look at this! Down there! <gasps> What's that? Whoa! Oh, no! I can't see what I'm doing! <laughs> The stone flower. Oh, the moors. I think that's what this was. It's all smashed. It's all ruined. We can't fly with this big hole. We need to fix it. Okay, guys, let's split up. Mila, Yara, and Lily, go find some food and water. Tig and I will work on fixing the ship. <gasps> Leo, Leo, take a look. <gasps> oh. I am Taraval, the 82nd, uh... <laughs> How's it going? Uh, how's it go? I hereby accuse you. Hmm, okay. I hereby accuse you... Of a most terrible crime. <gasps> I know the rest. <laughs> of a most terrible crime. Who more? Take them into custody! But there are so many! In Kubor, Kubor's just one! Would you be so kind as to tell us what the crime is that we committed? Uh, uh, well, uh... uh. I can do it, Dayan. A long time ago, there came an era of a most terrible drought when not a single green leaf was left in the whole of the sacred eucalyptus grove. The entire koala tribe nearly starved, but one very brave koala decided to save them and go in search of water. The road was long and most difficult, and just when she thought that all was lost, a bright spark of light appeared and she saw the scattering of stone flowers. When she broke it off, it began to rain. It watered the desert, and the desert began to bloom once again. Ever since then, the stone flower has been passed down from leader to leader. That's right. Or at least it was. 
Until you decided to destroy my ancestral heritage. And that's exactly why we must punish you, strangers. By the way, Dayan, how exactly should we punish them? Uh, uh, hold on a sec. I want to go to the scattering of stone flowers. And if they are growing there, I will pick one for you. Then you won't have to punish anyone anymore. Leo, it's too dangerous. You don't even know the way. You'll get lost. No, I won't. Tarval can go with me. Or he can just give me a map. But uh, I don't know the way. The legend never mentioned that part. And maps? Oh, well, we don't have any maps. Uh, most wise one. Uh, there actually is. A map? But what map? Where is it? Right here. Oh, toot. Oh, toot. Well, well. So I guess we'll just follow the spots and stripes, and when they find the stone flower, we'll steal it from them. <laughs> hey, hey, shh. We're going to steal it. I said shh. Oh, got it. <laughs> Whoa! We haven't seen this before. Uh, in order not to endanger the precious life of Taraval the 82nd, I suggest that you go around. But that's too far. I've got an idea. Leo, maybe we should go around. Okay. Then like this. Tuba, just calm down. Try to stay still. Okay, I get it. I'm bored as well. I have an idea. Let's look for water on our own. Uh, but Kubor uh, was ordered to guard, uh, not to look. But you can still guard us on the way. Don't worry, we won't run off. Yeah, we won't escape. Don't you think Terrible will be happy with you if we find water? Happy with Kubor? Uh, yes, Kubor really wants that. It looks... It looks like a... Yes, 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 little one. That is the stone flower. But that's nothing. My uncle Pernululu the 68th, ruler of the great eucalyptus grove on the ocean, taught me a little nifty trick to handle even the very biggest wave. <laughs> Dig! It's like the mountain in the winter! Kubor is smart. Kubor will find water and bring back another eucalyptus. Where did you get the strength to be so ridiculous? Personally, I'm so thirsty. All I can think about is water. I'm just a koala, and koalas never drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. <gasps> be quiet. Do you hear that? What can that strange noise be? Good job, Kuba. If the stones are wet, that means that water is nearby. It's a really big cave, and it's full of water. But the water looks very deep. Oh, but wait, I thought of something. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's it. It's the stone flower. But how do we get to it? Hey, you guys, I've got an idea. I need your help. Bring me a piece of that magical rock. In my country, in the jungle, there is an abandoned village. I saw something just like this there. That stone flower! Boy, what's up? Oh! 
<laughs> no! It was your flower, but now it's ours! <laughs> you bring Get that back to us right now! Oh no, now our grove will most definitely dry out. Such a shame. <laughs> We've lost everything. <laughs> oh, I'm not worthy of my ancestors. <laughs> Water? Where's that coming from? Oh, what is this miracle? How did you manage to do this? This is your stone flower. <laughs> and a little hard work. Good work, girls. <laughs> but how did the map stated, without the stone, the water will not flow? Tig, you mixed it up. The map said the water doesn't flow under the stone. But koalas barely drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. Ah, and don't forget Kubor. He was a very big help. Oh, Kubor? <laughs> oh my goodness. As a reward, I will give you your own <gasps> eucalyptus. Yes. Hey, hey, make some wet rain. Ho, ho, give me water, stone, stone. Stone, stone. <laughs> Something isn't working. Hey, where's the water? <laughs> Maybe you're not doing the dance the right way. I've had enough of this dance already. <laughs> what are you looking at? Well, hmm. I have no choice but to thank you. Dayan, behold our grove's eucalyptus gum. It is the stickiest in the whole wide world. Here we go, everyone. Full steam ahead. <laughs> The tree pear. The wind is getting stronger. We need to find bigger rocks so the ship doesn't blow away. Uh-huh. Check it out. There's a good rock for the ballast. Hey, let me help you out with that. Hey, Martin, why don't you try to find a spring? Or otherwise, yeah. our water will run out. Uh, all right, all right, go heave house. Yeah. Hey, hey, feeling! Ooh, Wake up already! <laughs> hey, feeling! Let him sleep, Milky. We can't fly in this weather. Anyway, when he's sleeping, he's not eating. Let's go. Let's go <laughs> see. Let's see if we can find some food. What's that strange animal? <laughs> animal. That's a hare. But a lot plumper and with a long tail. And he's hopping through the trees with a pouch on his tummy. And there seems to be a hare in his pouch as well. Oh, I remember. That's called a tree kangaroo. A wallaby. My dad told me all about that animal, and there's even a legend about it. Once upon a time, there were wild animals with quite long tails. They were called kangaroos. They jumped around the earth, and they carried their babies in pouches. There was a baby kangaroo, and it was called a joey. And the joey couldn't jump very far. But one day he learned that at the top of the very highest cliff, there is a magical wallaby stone, which grants a wish only once every hundred years. So the Joey decided to climb all the way up the cliff. It was a long and difficult journey for a little kangaroo, but he managed to climb up the wallaby stone. He made a wish 
And afterwards, he began to jump very high and very far, not only on the ground, but also in the trees. They began to call him Little Kangaroo, a tree kangaroo, or a wallaby. I wish we'd find a magical stone. That's just what we need now. Then we could wish for help, and we could get Lily back home even faster. <gasps> Did you hear that, Milky? That cliff over there has a magical stone that grants wishes! Uh-huh! But where do we find it, Spike? <laughs> um, hey! That's it! Look over there! Look! 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 Hi there! You're a good jumper! Look what I can do! Oh, wow! That was cool! I am Marnik! But who are you? They call me Wallaroo. I'm a tree kangaroo, a wallaby, the best jumper in Australia. Uh, well, soon I'll be the best jumper. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Woohoo! Jump over here! Oh! Back into Mama's pouch! Back in the pouch! Back in the pouch, but I can jump all by myself. I'm big now. <sighs> You're so lucky. You get to ride in a pouch. I'd like to try riding in a pouch, even if it were just once. Huh, I've got an idea. You can quietly jump in the pouch instead of me. Then I can practice on my own. All right? <laughs> Spike! <laughs> Get up there. All we need to do is find ourselves some ninny who's gonna show us the way to get up there. Then the magic wallaby stone is gonna get us out of here. <laughs> Hooray! Look at me! Freedom! Finally! The most impressive jumper in all of Australia! Hooray! Hey! Spike, maybe he can help us? <laughs> That's true. He is a good jumper. Uh, uh, hey, yo! What's your name, huh? I'm Wallaroo. I'm a tree kangaroo. Listen, and you? jumping on trees is for wimps. But if you climb that big rock over there, now that's where it's at, my little friend. Oh, oh. <laughs> but I bet you're too little. There's no way you could do that, could you? Me? You think I'm too little? Listen, you, I can easily jump up there and show everyone I'm not a baby, especially my mama. Oh, what are you waiting for, then? <laughs> Come on, kangaroo. <laughs> Let's go, huh, wormaroo, or whatever your name is. Come on and show everyone what you can do, man. <laughs> yeah, show us. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Hey, kid, what do you see? Is there a wallaby stone up there or something else? You see it? Wallaroo! Will you please toss the rock down to us? Hey, buddy! Where did he go? A wallaby stone? It's the highest stone up here. This is the wallaby stone. I'm standing on oh, it. Oh, you don't say. Uh, that rock up there is the wallaby stone? Oh, come on. Let's go, Milky. We gotta wait for it to warm up and then convince Phyllin to take us all the way up there. Hey, what about me? Wait for me. Just come down the same way you got up there. It's easy. Jump, hop, jump, hop. But we're out of time. We got stuff to do. Hey. Bye-bye. And while you're up there, don't go asking any riddles. Hold on, but wait for me. Why are you leaving me all alone? Uh, uh, Mama! Joey, wouldn't you like to take a bath? No, 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 oh, no. Oh, you're such a little piggy, aren't you? <gasps> but you're not my little precious Wallaroo. No, I'm Mardik. I'm sorry, ma'am. But where is Wallaroo? He didn't want to ride in the pouch anymore. He's grown up now and wants to jump on his own. So he's out practicing as we speak. Wallaroo! My Joey! How did he get on the cliff? We must hurry! <gasps> it's coming from over there! Somebody needs our help! T 
Jig, reset the ballast. Let's untie the ship. Hurry! We need to get up there before the storm starts. helping my little Wallaroo. Mama, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I won't trick you ever again, I promise. Mama was so worried, my son. But if you are able to climb that cliff, then that means that you really are big now. So we can start to practice jumping on the great big eucalyptus tree. <laughs> <laughs> I have the best mama in the whole world. <laughs> Goodbye. Kids! Goodbye! Goodbye. Goodbye. We'll see you! Thank you! Bye. 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 Bye! Bye! Thank you so much, everyone! Come back soon! We'll <laughs> jump on the highest eucalyptus tree together! <laughs> I want to make a wish! No, a treasure! I want no, treasure. I want a ship! I want no, it all. I want treasure! <laughs> no, wait! Quiet, everyone! I wish for the great treasure from the monkey tribe! Ready? Hold, hold. Ah, oh, okay, I get it, fine. I bet that this is all because of that bouncing tree kangaroo baby. That little baby must have already made a wish. He went and wasted our wish. Ugh. Now we're gonna have to wait another hundred years. We failed. Oh, let's get out of here. Hold, hold, mice, 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 mice. Oh, no. mice. The funny cassowary. My turn. <laughs> Scaredy cat. <laughs> it's my turn. I won, I won. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Lily, be careful. You should sit down. You're going to fall off. I can't sit down. Not until I finish my stretches. Okay, I get it. I enjoy stretching too. And one, and... Whoa! Who fell down from the sky? How interesting! Who are you? Stay away from me! How did I get here? <laughs> if I stay away from you, then how will I do this? Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cass, and this is Kalunda. He's a master of the pipe and drums. <laughs> I'm Lily. Thanks for your help. <laughs> hey, do you live here? Huh? This forest is our magnificent home. Home sweet home. <laughs> Can you please tell me where the highest spot is around here? I really need to find it. Oh, it's not far from here. We'll take you there. <laughs> uh, you know, Kalunda and I were just getting ready to have some lunch. <laughs> is it okay if we eat something first? Huh? That sounds good. I'm always ready to eat. <laughs> uh, so what do you eat here? I don't see anything that looks good to snack on. 
follow us, my little friend. We know how to find the best food. Kalunda! <coughs> there is nothing better than going along, strolling the forest while singing a song. <coughs> if you sing a duo with a good friend, all around will hear that great sound. <coughs> Look! Look at that! But who's that with him? Hey! <laughs> oh, but such rhythm! What a dancer! Come see our troop, Lily! Oh, may I? As if you have to ask! Come along, <laughs> there's some food! <laughs> Help yourself. You deserve it. Go ah. right ahead. Well, well. Once again, that clown is embarrassing our proud family and singing his stupid songs for an audience. So unacceptable. Ah. And all those ridiculous dances of his. Utterly disgusting. <laughs> Actually, only at you and your butterfly. Get on and get out of our forest. But that, that isn't fair. You can't kick out Cass. He's just like you two. <laughs> We're birds of honor. If Cass wants to stay, then let him show that he's a dignified cassowary. But how can he do that? <laughs> By beating one of them in a traditional cassowary competition. <laughs> and if you win, you can stay. Otherwise, you have to leave and stop embarrassing all of us. And what happens if you lose? Us? <laughs> <laughs> Lily, they both practice every single day. Well, if you lose, you have to dance with Cass. You want us proud cassowaries to jump around like silly birdies? <laughs> Not going to happen. That joker doesn't stand a chance. Well, even so, I'm still going to try. It'll be good to see if these cassowaries can dance to my friend Kalunda's pipe and drum music. <laughs> I declare that the match will take place at the sacred ficus tree. Right? Lily! Lily! Lily, hello! Hello! Lily! Answer me! Ugh. Maybe we should land? But where? There's no spot to land around here. It's full of trees. <sighs> Yara, let's fly a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are gathered here today to settle the issue of whether Cass is worthy of being called a cassowary. <laughs> <laughs> now, legend has it that many, many years ago, there was no peace to be found in our forest. There were many arguments and many fights. Some fought over the watering hole. Others were to sleep. And others were because they could not share their food. And the fighting just wouldn't seem to end. The wisest inhabitant of the forest, a cassowary as legend has it, asked the forest to become a fair judge for all the animals in the area. And the forest responded to the cassowary's request. In the blink of an eye, a sacred ficus sprung up from the earth. It was a wise old tree that could always tell a truth from a lie. With its strong branches, 
It could determine, without fail, who was right and who was guilty. And then peace proceeded to reign over the forest. Enough legends! That's nothing but an old wives' tale. Come on, let's get down to business and kick this buffoon out of the forest already. Well, in that case, then may the great and always fair match of the cassowaries begin. I'm going to throw you out of our forest once and for all. Hey, no. This is my forest, too. Cass, come on. You can do it. It's almost like dancing. Come on, dance away. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Ah, no! Ah, ah. Oh. <laughs> what? See who the real cassowary is around here. <laughs> ah, according to our rules, Cass must leave the forest at once. But that's not fair. I was tripped up. It sounds to me like someone is a sore loser. Did anyone see you get tripped up? Hmm. You see, no one saw anything at all. You're nothing but a clown. And a liar, too! I saw him trip. And if you don't believe me, then let's ask the sacred ficus. It'll mm. tell us who's lying. <laughs> the ficus? That's nothing but a legend. You dumb little animal. Come on! Did you? Really trip him up. I, 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 uh... I'll have you know that singing and dancing is better than lying in order to win. I, 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 I didn't want to. I, I was, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. <laughs> Cass, you are welcome to stay with us. I think that maybe you're forgetting about one more rule, aren't you? Where's Lily? Lily! Ugh. Lily, hello! This is all my fault. <gasps> hey, guys! Look over there! There she is! Lily! Hooray! Lily! <laughs> all right! <laughs> hey, I have to admit, you're pretty good at this. I think I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> We're going to get some fruit. We'll be back soon. We know what soon means to you guys. The Royal Aroma. Oh, who's there? <laughs> huh? You're so cute. Who are you? Don't be scared. My name is Yara. And this is Lily and Mila. <laughs> My name is Pasa. Do you need some help? Okay. <laughs> My home isn't far away. <sighs> this smells so good. What exactly is it? That's some pollen. For fragrances. For fragrances? How interesting. Yeah. I make delicious aromas called Pasaroma out of pollen and nectar. I use a very old recipe book. <sighs> That is so amazing. It reminds me of the smell of 1,000 incredibly pretty flowers. Oh, what a wonderful smell indeed. Yes, but it can't compare with the magnificent King's aroma. The only one who knew how to make it was my brother Soma. But my brother was a real master of anything and everything to do with fine herbs. He knew every single recipe. But then one day, Without warning, the great flood carried him off to sea. <gasps> and since then, I haven't ever seen him again. Oh, Pasa, 
I'm so sorry. Come on, step up, come on! Don't miss out! Come get your different fragrances! All are most wonderful! They're bright, they're delicious, they're flowery! Wow. <laughs> By the way, friends, my name is Opa! Don't forget that name now! Very, very soon I'll be the best aroma master in all of Australia! Ew! This one smells... <clears throat> Not quite right. What do you mean? Which one doesn't smell right? But this smells really great. Aroma Opa is black cardamom, guava steam, David Sonia, manuka, and of course, macadamia. Uh, I don't know. Somehow, pasas just seem kind of <sighs> so much better. Uh huh. Pasas are better. Pasas are more delicious. Fooey, you don't know anything. What's wrong with him? Ugh. Don't pay attention to him. Oppa just can't seem to get any of his fragrances to smell just right. But you know what? You all helped me, so I have a surprise for you. I want to welcome you to my <laughs> special spa. <gasps> what about the others? They're waiting for us. Mila, we'll be really quick, okay? <sighs> oh, come on, girls. A real bath. A nice warm bath. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> trouble! Trouble! Come quickly! The flowers are sick! Fungus! It's a fungus! That's a great idea! We can cure the flowers from the fungus. I heard it said once a long time ago, a long time ago, that there were these huge flowers called monkey cups. And all those monkey cups gave off a magical pollen which was able to miraculously cure flowers from the sooty fungus. But then, the great flood occurred and we suddenly became an island. Legend says that the magical monkey cups still grow there, but no one can manage to reach that island by swimming. Well, if we're not able to swim there, then perhaps we could... we could fly there? Fly there? That's a great idea! Of course we can fly over there! Maybe our flying ship can... Uh, um, maybe, um, maybe you can take Pasa to get the healing pollen? And I'll stay here and try to save the flowers that are left. <laughs> no problem. I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh, wait, I forgot to take my baskets back inside. I'll do it. Don't you worry. <laughs> well, where did you disappear to? And why do you smell so good? That's wonderful. Hey, boys. This is Pasa. <gasps> she makes these wonderful fragrances and incredible aromas. And she's in need of our help. That's it! The island! Over there! Hurry! Goodness, it's so cool! Over there! That's them! Look, it's the magical monkey cups! Ah! Ah! Oh, <gasps> Pasa! Don't move! <laughs> Don't go anywhere near these plants, they're dangerous! <sighs> Let me give you a hand. <sighs> <sighs> Sister, you've gotten so big. I can't believe my eyes. We all thought you were lost. 
Well, thankfully, I didn't drown in the Great Flood. The water carried me to this island, but I couldn't find my way back home. Ah, I've been stuck here the whole time. What a nightmare! That monkey cup almost swallowed me up whole. Well, actually, monkey cups are a predatory plant. But Opa told us that they might save the flowers and that their cups might have magical pollen. But monkey cups don't even have pollen. And they definitely don't help cure anything. I think maybe Opa was mistaken. All right, let's get everything and head on back home. Hmm, that's weird. This is not a sooty fungus. This is... Wait, it's... This is nothing but paint! It's paint? But why would someone paint the flowers? Did Opa maybe want to get us off the island for some reason or another? <laughs> Opa is the greatest. Opa has thought of everything. Opa did it! Now everyone will only be able to get their fragrances from me. Opa, are you actually trying to steal the recipe book? S Soma? Pasa! Uh... What? Were you hoping to never see us again? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Opa, stop! 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 <laughs> Hoot! A mouse! Hoot! A mouse! Hoot! 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 Someone help! Someone help me! Oh no! Opa! We have to save him! <laughs> well, little sis, are you ready? Wait, but we were kids! <laughs> hoot! I can't see! Well, I can't see anything! Hoot! Hoot! I can't see! Oh. Hoot! I can see! I can see again! Hoot, hoot. Hoot, 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 hoot. Why'd you do that? Why did you save me? If it weren't for your sneaky plan, Possa wouldn't have ever found me on that island. It's kind of strange, but I owe my being saved to you as well. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've just never been able to get the fine herbs just right like you always seem to. I was really jealous of you, and I decided to steal the book of recipes to learn the secret. There's actually no secret that can be learned. You see, once upon a time, long, long ago, all the animals came to the Cuscuses for the wonderful and fine aromas. However, one day, the Cuscuses argued over whose aromas were the best of them all and their souls filled with envy, spoiling even the most perfect aromas. No one came back to the Cuscuses. The recipes were all but forgotten. So King Cuscus, the wisest of the Cuscuses, ordered that all the recipes be collected and put into one recipe book. And I hid the most important recipe on the very last page. You can mix any aromas you like, you see, but there is one trick that makes all the difference. Do it with love. Pasa. Hey, so, you know, I was wondering, can we take a <laughs> bath? But of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here you go. Try this, please. That's the stuff. Now, now that, that is, is a real, real royal, royal aroma. aroma. <laughs> Koopa! <laughs> the secret to any task is love and friendship and never envy. But where did he get to? Meeting with a Tasmanian. You, sir, have infringed on my territory. I have never heard anything more offensive in my entire life. You, sir, have infringed on my territory. So fear. I think that there is only one way that we can settle this. Yes, with, with a, a duel. duel. <laughs> <laughs> Hoot. Ah! Mice! 
<laughs> oh, how fascinating. What an interesting aroma. Oh, it's amazing. It's almost like it's almost like a quan dog, but a little bit different. <sighs> Come over here. I found a new aroma. Ah, well, well. Yes, that's a fragrant ficus. All right, be quick. Pack it up. Don't be stingy. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Someone save me, please! Ah! Someone help! <laughs> Oot. Oot. Mice. Oot. 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 Mice. Help! <laughs> Mice. 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 What happened? Hey, where did the sun go? Oh, I can't take it. What a silly bird. Who's there? Let me out of here right now. Forget it. Like I've got nothing better to do. I prey on weak, young, and old, too. I love to waste time in dark dealings, creeping through the shadows. You've been warned! Better run away, or I'll leave you squealing. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are just like me, then that means you're strong. I love scaring kids right out their seats and watch how they all cry for their mommies. You can search the world and seven seas. More wicked than me, you'll find nobody. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are just like me, then that means you're strong. You're absolutely strong. <laughs> To. He must have flown off to eat something. Helen! Hello! If we let spots and stripes get away, then there's no way that we'll ever get our hands on that treasure. Did I just hear someone mention the word treasure? Ah, uh, uh, I, I suppose I did, but uh, just so you know, it's not really any of your business. Everything that happens in Tasman's forest is Tasman's business. What? What do you mean, your forest? Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good joke. If you're out here looking for treasure, then I just need you to do one thing. Bring me a piece of it. I know everything that goes on around here. You got some nerve, buddy. I'll have you know that treasure is all ours. Aha. But is the treasure still even there? Well, it might be, but it isn't for you. <sighs> if you don't want to do things the right way, We'll do it my way. So come on and tell me all about this treasure and where to look for it. Hey, Melky. Okay, I think, I think we lost him. Uh-huh, I think we lost him. Ooh. Utterly outrageous. Yes, there's no greater crime than breaking up a duel. You silly fools should have known better. We shall continue this duel. But first, let us deal with these insolent creatures, my dear sir. Uh, maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe we can all sit down and discuss this, huh? Or, or something like that. Yes, we shall teach them. A worthy lesson, indeed. Get ready. Mike, please do something. Uh, I have an idea. How about I give you Milky? <laughs> He's quiet. He's very nice. What? <laughs> He's a sweet kid. You'll love him. Yes, very nice. <laughs> uh. Hey, don't.
don't stand around. Let's go. Oh, never in my life have I been dropped to the ground twice in the very same day. If you ask me, we shouldn't tell anyone about this most humiliating episode. What do you say? <laughs> huh? You see that? Do you see how great I am? Without me, you'd have been done for. Now you two really must bring me a share of that treasure. Uh, Spike, uh, let's just do it. Uh, our buddy Tasman here is strong and agile, huh? Uh, he can protect us. Uh-huh. And then what's next? You're gonna want us to bring him our treasure? Don't be afraid, brothers. We'll divide it up evenly. Well, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, if you think that would be fair, I mean... Spike! What do you mean? Well, I happen to know where you can find that crazy bird, your friend. It's a deal! Great. Now tell me all about this treasure. Well, we'll just show you. Uh-huh. We'll show you. Leo, I really don't get it. Tell me, why do we need so much food? Well, if we're going to be leaving Australia, Tig, we don't know how long we'll have to be flying across the ocean. Okay, Leo, you're right. We need to hurry. The monkey's treasure might very well be in danger. Kuba? Hey, Kuba! Get out you of see? There. Do you get it now? Uh-huh. So we follow them and then nab the treasure. We'll snatch it right out from under their noses. <laughs> but where is your flying ship? Well, you see, you said you knew where to find Philin. One, two, and pull! Oh, oh, be careful. Take it easy with my feathers. Hoot, hoot. Pull harder, pull harder. Do a better job this time. Come on, help us. Don't just stand there. Yeah. Oh, come help us. <laughs> I am helping you. Helping you keep a rhythm. One, two, and pull. Hoot, hoot. Hey, hoot, why'd you stop? Hoot. Go on, get back to work. Ah! Whoa. Oh. Lily, I've been thinking. Since you're the captain, how about making me your first mate? <laughs> Lily, you should pick me instead. <laughs> you, Tig? But you're afraid of heights. Well, maybe I am. But I'll be careful. And anyway, Leo, don't forget, you're the one who's always falling over and things like that. Well, I'm more fun. If anyone here should be the first mate, it should be me. Yeah, I agree. However, I'm the first first mate. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, whenever I'm homesick, I just take a look at our boys. They'll never, ever change. <laughs> I wonder where Spike and his brother are right now. Yeah. <sighs> Follow that ship, you bird. Hoot? Hoot. Stop, stop, stop! Who do you think you're ordering around? Oh, yeah, I forgot. From now on, I'll be the one in charge. And whoever doesn't like it can go ahead and jump off.
Ice Ball. I think we're really lost now. Uh, can you imagine spending the whole winter here? Uh. <gasps> Who are you? And what are you doing here? We are friends of Lily the monkey. We're helping her find her way back home. And we are the Voguing Penguins from the House of Wind Pingo. And I am Stella, the house mother. And this is Hernando and Creon. Are they your children? <laughs> no, we just really like to Vogue. It's such a fabulous dance. We're going to the ice ball. It's going to be held in Queen Maudland. I can see that you've run into a slight <coughs> issue. <coughs> Ooh, la la. No way. This isn't just a little issue. No way. This is a big problem. Not at all. House of Gwynpingo is famous not only for its style, but for its hospitality as well. Uh, uh, but what about the ball? Stella, we can't be late. Hernando! I'm surprised at you. Leaving our guests to suffer on our island? Oh my, that just isn't right. Wait for us here. I think that I might know what to do. Hoot hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. <laughs> Finally, land. <laughs> it's just so, 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 so much colder than, than the ocean. Stop whining. We'll warm up soon enough. <laughs> oh well. Ah, very interesting. Follow me. We really need to think about how to get our ship out of here. Or at least find out how to warm up. You see that? Something shining. Let's get a closer look. Take a look at that. What if we break off a couple of them to use? They could be like levers for the ship. <laughs> when you work, you'll warm up right away. One, two, and push. <laughs> You hear that? The snow is cracking. Hey, we'll get our ship out soon. Hey, I don't think that's the snow cracking. Well, what exactly is your brilliant idea? Look, the lava from the volcano is still warm. We need to take some of the warm rocks and lay them all around that wooden bird. <gasps> Ooh, la, la. that's great. The snow and ice will melt, and it can fly away from here. Uh, just one problem, Stella. Uh, how do we get the rocks back down there? <gasps> Ooh, look, villain. Aren't we lucky we just happened upon these hot rocks? <clears throat> what do you mean? Tell me, who exactly are you? I'm a friend of your guests. Uh, we were flying behind them, but then we landed. <sighs> Uh, we saw that they were in trouble and that they needed help. They said that you guys also want to help them out. Well then, let's help them together. Ha, what a great idea! <laughs> together! It's more fun! <laughs> yeah! Faster, faster, faster! You two are penguins, not snails! Just look at him! That Tasman is a real commander! Uh-huh. A commander who's willing to burn our nest to a total crisp. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're such trusting penguins! <laughs> 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 
twins! These hot stones are actually for oh, us, oh. not them! Oh, so we oh, don't oh, oh. let you guess! <laughs> silly spots and silly stripes! Figure it out! They can fend for themselves! <laughs> let them sit in the snow! <laughs> <sighs> Great! No one deceives the house of Gwen Pingo and gets away with it. I know exactly how to beat them. Hernando, Creon, follow me. Let's give them the totem pole. Is anyone still doubting my magnificent leadership skills? Huh? Oh. Oh. That's them! Oh. 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 Aha! You liars! You won't get away from the house of oh. Winpingo! Hernando, Creon, Totem Pole! Oh. <laughs> 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 These losers are all friends now? Why am I not surprised? Why am I not at all surprised? <laughs> We're not losers! We'll show you! Everyone together! Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, Desmond, I think you might have ended up stealing too many rocks here. Uh, hold on tight! Hold the mess! Oh, hold the mess! Ah, ah. Well, I didn't know holding the nest was so hard for you. Hey, how about you just jump off? Then you can show those losers your leadership skills. Well, I'm sure warm now. <laughs> Thanks for your help, friends. <sighs> that was amazing. Yeah, and yeah, it stylish. was. <laughs> we have to think up a new dance to honor our victory. <laughs> yeah. <Ooh. Hey>, guys, <laughs> do you want us to fly you to the ball on our ship here? Oh, that would be just lovely. I never arrived at a ball in a <laughs> flying ship. Perhaps you would like to learn how to dance the Vogue. It's, it's such a, a fabulous, fabulous dance. dance. Hernando, Creon, wonderful idea. My friends, would you like to join the house of Gwyn Pingo? Of course you would! <laughs> then let's go, my friends. We'll show you the moves on the way there. The ice ball is over there in Queen Maudland. And now, turn your attention to the voguing house of Gwyn Pingo! Oh, I think the house of Gwyn Pingo beats everyone! No one has ever made such a grand entrance before! Such elegance has never been seen! Hello. Hello there. Uh, oh, I'm not 
not supposed to talk to strangers. Silly. But I'm not a stranger. You see, we've already met. We're very close. Mama! Where's your mommy? I would simply love to have you for lunch. I don't want any lunch. All I want is my mama. Aren't you the sweetest thing? How about I take you out a little further? That way, no one will hear you and your whining. Bright white. Don't worry. Kuba soon will fly away from here. And it will be much warmer. Someone help me! Over there! Someone seems to be in danger! Aren't you getting sick of yelling? Don't you realize no one can hear you scream out here? Oh, but he's so small and bright white. He desperately needs our help. <sighs> I'm tired. Time to eat something. Mama! Oh, no, no, oh. Jump to us! Quickly! <sighs> How dare you! Give me back my lunch! Hey, you kids! You up there! I'm going to teach you a lesson. Whoa. Let's land! You're safe here! Hey, you up there! Bring me back my lunch! Hi, little buddy. I'm Leo. Tell us, what's your name? Abak. And I want to go home to my mama. Little guy, where do you live? I don't know. I ended up getting lost. Don't <laughs> cry. We'll find your home for you. And your mama. And your mama. Thank you. Look down there. He looks exactly like Abak, but he's black and he's barking. <laughs> barking? He's looking for Abak, Tig. Let's go. <sighs> hey there. Were you looking for our little seal friend? Looking? I need some help. Can't you see? <sighs> I'm stuck here. Then we'll help you get out of there, buddy. One, two, pull it! <laughs> Careful! Don't tear my snout off! I'm really proud of it! Don't worry! You won't lose your snout! Maybe if we pull harder, we can... Ow, 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 ow! Whoa, whoa, ow! Thank you! Now we can introduce ourselves. My name is Stromai. I'm an elephant seal. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Leo the Leopard. These are my friends, Tig, Martik, Kuba, Yara, Mila, and Lily. And we recently ran into another elephant seal. His name is Apak. He's just lost and looking for his mother. He's not an elephant seal. He doesn't even have a snout. But I do. Do you see my snout? Only elephant seals have snouts like these ones. And I'm as black as the night. But Abak is bright white. Elephant seal babies are always black. But white babies are sea calves. Uh, so that means a pack's a sea calf? Mm hmm. He's still white right now. Huh? But when he grows up, then he'll become a hard seal. It's all so complicated, but you look so much alike. <laughs> we look alike, but not that much. My mom once told me a story that long, long ago, some animals got tired of living on land and they decided to live in the ocean. Their legs and arms transformed and they became flippers. Those who began to make ice holes were then known as hard seals. And those who learned to dive much deeper 
and farther than the others, suddenly grew long snouts. They were known as elephant seals. And the meanest, smartest ones of all were covered in spots and grew very sharp teeth and hunted other seals. They were known as sea leopards. I know where the seal rookery is. I can take you all there on the iceberg. Hey, you kids! Bring me back my lunch! How dare you! Oh, I'm not floating on that iceberg. We'll go on land then. Do you see that river? Follow it upwards to the source. Then you turn left, and finally you'll see the seal rookery. Aren't you coming along with us? No, sorry, but I'm much too clumsy on land. Okay, then Tig and I will take Apak, and you guys can guard the ship. But remember, do not go through the waterfall. There are sea leopards in there. I think we got lost somewhere. We're going and going, but it looks like we haven't found the source yet. <gasps> Over there! I bet she can help us. Hi there, Auntie Hardseal. Well, hello there, children. I'm Leo, and this is Tig, and that's Apak. And I'm Otney. Are you two out here all by yourself? Yeah, we're helping our friend Apak get back home to the rookery. Can you please tell us the best way to get there? Apak, oh, they sent me out to look for you. The whole rookery is worried. However, your parents aren't there right now. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Apak's parents are waiting, and so am I. Uh, are you a hard seal? You don't really look like my mama or papa. That's why my name is Motney. In our language, it means not quite like the others. Did you get that? Oh, yeah. But why do you have so many spots? <gasps> I got dirty when I was looking for you. But once we get to the rookery, I'll wash it off. And why do you have such, such great big flippers, huh? Ah, oh, my flippers? Well, you will have them too when you grow up. <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> oh. That's the waterfall, huh? That's a dangerous place. <laughs> why did you bring us over here? <laughs> hey, why do you have such great big teeth? Uh, uh, my teeth? What, what big teeth? No. <laughs> I think that this hard seal isn't really a hard seal. You're right. And I have great big teeth because they're all the better to eat you with, you silly children. <laughs> She's really a sea leopard! Run away! Save yourselves! <laughs> oh. Hurry! This way! But it's dark and scary! <sighs> Delivered your little white ball of fluff, huh? Safe yeah. and sound. Yeah. Uh, uh. Mama, I miss you both so much. Epic, don't crawl so far away next time. <laughs> I won't. Thank you so much. We could have lost our little son without you. Mama, Papa, could we take them back to their ship? Of course we can, son. And we'll take the safest way back. I promise that when I grow up and I'm a big and strong heart seal, 
that I'll swim to the tiger to visit you. A pack! <laughs> we'll be waiting! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Tasman, why are you looking at us like that right now? Hmm, no reason. I'm just thinking about who I'm going to eat first. <laughs> what do you mean, eat first? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You should have seen yourselves. You were so petrified. <laughs> so, does that mean that you're not going to eat us? Who needs a bag of bones like you? Hey, look, land ho! Hoot hoot. Huh? Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. The Paints of Africa. Interesting. What exactly is this place? That's why we're doing reconnaissance, Tig, to figure that out. I was just wondering. We always end up running into some really strange looking locals. Animals that have beaks, uh, uh, and birds. Some who fly and some who don't. So I wonder who we'll run into here. Maybe uh, some kind of five-winged duck-billed creature. You're a duck-billed creature, Tig. Hey, do you see these normal-looking hoof prints? It must be some kind of deer. Let's go and meet them. Right. Oh, God! Yeah. Oh, we found it! We did it! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> Enough fooling around. Go out there and find us something to eat. Ooh. Okay, fine. But what are you gonna do? I guess I'll keep an eye on Philin. Uh, and keep your eyes peeled. Figure out where stripes and spots have landed. A deer, you said. Ha! Look there. Spots just like yours. Maybe he's a strange leopard. Oh, <laughs> we have guests, Zako. Uh, we have guests, man. I am pleased to meet you. I am Jiro. And I'm not a leopard. I'm a giraffe. Man. This here is Zako. <laughs> and he's a parrot. We have guests, man. Nice to meet you. I'm Leo, and this is Tig and Kuba. What are you drawing up on that wall over there? That's such a big picture. We're not drawing. We're writing. You could say we're artists. We're artists. We're artists. We're writing. Zuffle. We're writing, 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 this writing, writing. This picture is called Sunrise in Africa. Ah, yes. Writing, 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 writing. It isn't finished just yet. I hope that we're going to have enough paint in order to finish it. To finish it, enough paint, magical paint, magical paint, magical uh, paint. Zako uh, is asking if you are familiar uh -huh. with the legend uh -huh. of the magical paint. Mm, we know a lot of legends, but that one is new to us. Oh well then, come and sit down with us. Uh -huh. Zako and I were about to take a break anyway. And for Zako. <gasps> wow! Did you draw all those as well? We write, we write, we I write! Mean, did you write that? No, no. These are ancient drawings. Allow me to tell you all about the legend. A long time ago, when Africa was still quite young, a wildfire spread from coast to coast and turned this colorful land into a gray and scorched wasteland. It was a sad, sad time. Everything everywhere became bleak, all shades of gray. And then the spirit of the savanna gathered up the last of its strength and created a most magical paint. The animals painted our Africa once again and nature came back to life. And that is the legend of the magical paint. So if these paints bring nature to life, if we draw ourselves some food, then we'll be able to feast to our heart's content. Hey, but then why didn't the painting come to life? Listen. Do you have fur in your ears? The giraffe even said that his painting isn't even finished yet. Come on, before somebody sees us. Before someone sees, before someone sees. Milky, but why are you repeating what I just said? Did you hit your head or something, man? That wasn't me. Brad, that wasn't me, that wasn't me. <laughs> Not me. Oh, that means it's probably the magical paint talking to us. Magical paint talking. 
talking, magical pain talking, talking. What? But that can't, can't be. Can't be, can't be. Hey, Spike, let's get out of here while we're still in one still piece. Still in one piece. But I think while I might have heard piece. that voice somewhere today already. I recognize we're it. We're right and right and right and Aha! right. So someone was trying to scare us. Oh, gotcha, Chatterbox. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Hey, Milkcake, get the paints. What happened, Zako? Get the paint, Milky! Get the paint! Milky! Milky! The mountains! <laughs> Those creatures took off with all of our paint! Took off with our paint! The magical paint! <laughs> we'll get your paint back for you! <laughs> hey! Come <laughs> back! You only think of yourselves! Come on! Give back the paint! I'm telling you! <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to catch us first! Mike! Get back <laughs> here! They're catching up to us! the life. <laughs> and then Tasman will be able to eat it. You first. Ooh. Tasman doesn't want to break a tooth. One, two, three. Create the apple for me. It's nothing but regular paint. But, but it can't be. This, this is magical paint. Uh, I don't understand what happened. Spike, uh, maybe we need to say some magic words or something? Abracadabra! What is wrong with you, Milky? <laughs> you really are nuts! Uh, the legend mentioned the spirit of the savannah. Maybe we gotta ask it for help. What do we do now, Leo? Well, we have to bring back the magic paint. Uh-huh. But where do we even look for it? Good job, Kuba! You found some tracks! Oh! Spirit of Savannah! Please! Bring this apple to life for us so that we may snack upon it! Oh, that must be it. The spirit of the savannah. Thank you for coming to us. Oh. Hey, the spirit looks just like cool by, don't you think? Give us back the magical paint right now. Uh, we need it for ourselves. After all, we just painted an apple, as you can clearly see. Tasman, but what if it's a... However, Tasman will gladly exchange these very magical paints for any supplies you may have to offer. I'll exchange you, you thief! Give us that paint! I'll only exchange them for food! <laughs> Let's get out of here! <laughs> you... You won't be able to finish the painting. We tried, but we couldn't save the magical paints. The magical paints? But those paints weren't the magical paints. Magical paints! Wait, they weren't? Weren't magical paints! You mean you really thought that they were the magical paints from the legend? You mean they weren't? But of course not. That's nothing but a fairy tale. Fairy tale! Although it is true that we can't finish the painting now, we'll have to find a solution soon. <laughs> we can make new paints. In fact, you can help us. It's quite easy. All we need is just a little bit of imagination and a touch of inspiration and the most magical colors of Africa.
I think that we made some real magical paints after all. That's right. The magical paint of Africa. Magical yeah. Paint. Magical paint of Africa. Zarko. Huh? We right, we right, we right. Drink. <laughs> Drink. Drink. Stop your whining, Feathers. You drank two days ago. <laughs> Three. All right, all right. There's a lake ahead. Let's land there. The fastest runner. Drink. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> Shoo, that's my lake. If you want a drink, first you have to beat me in a race. Then you can have some water. Okay. We'll go find another lake. Just go ahead and try. The next lake is very far away. Ooh. It'll take you two Ooh, listen, days. Uh, the filling isn't going to last that long. <sighs> hey, you, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> How far do we have to run? It's not that far. Just down to that rock. All right. But we'll need to stretch a bit first. Follow me. Great, I'll do the same. Yeah, I need to stretch as well. One, uh, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Uh, Tasman? Uh, how are we going to beat him? We're going to set a trap. And you, Featherhead, I want you to stay there. Keep watch for us. Ooh. Stop there! The Asayara Lake is all mine. If you want a drink, then you're gonna have to race me. And you're gonna have to win. <laughs> but what kind of weird rule is that? It's probably just what they do here. So if you beat me, <laughs> you can have some water. Okay, fine. Leo, you go. No one can beat you. Let me guess. You need to stretch first as well? Hey, so I uh. heard that you're all planning to race the cheetah? Did I hear correctly? Yeah, we're just stretching a little first. Well, you know, many a creature has tried to beat him before, but no one has succeeded. Not even me. Ha, but you're a turtle. The cheetah is like Leo and me. We're fast cats. Yes, <gasps> leopards <gasps> are quite fast, but cheetahs are faster. <gasps> faster than Leo? Like a bolt of lightning? Listen to the legend and learn for yourself. Long ago in Africa, there was a boastful cheetah. He loved saying that he could run faster than any other creature. And so one day he invited everyone to race him and he proceeded to beat them all. But the hippo happened to notice that the cheetah runs fast, but gets tired quite quickly. And so the hippo came up with an idea. He would challenge the cheetah to run at dawn, all the way down to the large rock. But the hippo had a trick up his sleeve. He went and asked the elephant to take the rock further down to the river. And then, when the race began, the cheetah only ran as far as to where the rock had been before it was moved. The hippo made it all the way down to the rock and taught the cheetah a lesson about bragging. <gasps> so that means that we can beat the cheetah if we run farther than he's used to? <laughs> all right, uh, one, two, three, stretch. Well then, are you ready to race now? Listen up, cheetah. They say that no one in Africa is faster than you. Of course not. What else do you expect? Then how about if we don't just have a simple race? Let's have a championship. A championship? I like that idea. Woohoo! What do we do? Ha! Huh. We run past the rock all the way to the baobab tree. Then whoever wins is the owner of the whole lake. Hmm. Owner of the whole lake? Well... What's the matter, Cheetah? Are you scared? Okay, fine. Yeah. I'll run in the championship race. 
However, I get to pick who will race me. I think I'll pick him. You picked Kuba? Uh huh. We're running to the faraway baobab tree. Whoever beats Cheetah will be the owner of the whole lake. No, but we know that the traps aren't set up over there. Hey, Melky, go and race with them. Spike and I will set up some new traps. And make sure you get there first, you got it? Ah! Hey, Melky, are you gonna run in the race as well? <laughs> Go ahead and snicker, uh-huh. Soon that whole lake will be ours. Look at them all. A chubby little boar. <laughs> a baby Martin. Oh, I know. How about if we throw a turtle in as well? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I still haven't finished running the last race. Hey, hey, hey. Drink. No drinking. drinking. No one drinks from my lake, you hear me? I'm gonna win! Get lost! On your marks! And get set! Go! Woohoo! Yeah! I'm the fastest! Yeah! I'm gonna beat my own record! <laughs> oh, finally, the last one's set up. <laughs> They're going to run right through our first trap. Uh, but how is Milky gonna know where the new traps are? <sighs> What's wrong with me? Come on, Cheetah, you're the fastest! Uh, I'm getting so tired! Hey! What happened? Why did it get dark? Ow! Oh, oh, oh. I'm so tired! I need a break! I'm so tired! Cheetah is going to lose to some chubby boar. Someone help me! Uh, get me down from here! Wow. Hey, where are you going? Stop! No! But I'm the fastest! From now on, the Asai Ara Lake is all yours! The whole lake! <laughs> <laughs> Kuba says that he'll give us all the lake. It now belongs to everyone. <laughs> water. Thirsty. I need water. Water. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? No one laughed. Don't forget, one must always treat. Others, how one wishes to be treated oneself. I officially declare that the Asai Ara Lake is open. <laughs> Drink. I'm sorry, everyone. Shame on you. Shame on you for being so greedy. I promise that I won't be greedy anymore. And I won't brag. <laughs> Kuba, hey, look, I'm really sorry that I laughed at you. You really are strong and such a good runner. Kuba says he forgives you. He's a bore. 
See you later. Come visit again soon. The Asai Ara Lake is always full of water for our friends. <laughs> and you can come run with me. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Help me, someone. <laughs> Get me down. <laughs> Look, I finally found the little bugger. Then go. Spike. Get him down. Get me down from here. Milky, what are you whining for? <gasps> uh, oh. <laughs> Buddy. Oh, you I get it down, it. right? You fell into your own trap! Ah! No! <laughs> you got trapped in your own trap as well! Now just be quiet! <laughs> I'll get you when I get down. <laughs> Millen! <laughs> Millen! Come here, you featherhead! Hurry up and save Ooh. us! Millen! <laughs> 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 A game for a rhinoceros. <laughs> Look at him sleeping. You can't wake him up. It's your own fault. What did you expect, Tasman? You kept the poor owl flying all night long. It appears to me that somebody here is dissatisfied with something. No, no, no one here is dissatisfied with anything. I was merely uh, uh, sharing my opinion. Well, you should keep your opinions to yourself. Or otherwise. But, but come on, Tazzy, old pal. We're good friends now, I mean, aren't we? Why is this small fry bothering me like this? Get away! Shoo! Uh, Tasman, uh, uh, I think maybe the birdie just wants to make friends with you. Make <laughs> friends with me? I don't need anybody <gasps> trying to make friends with me, okay? Friendship equals weakness! Marty! Can you check the ropes? Aye, aye, Captain. Eee, eee. Hey, Koopa Buddy, you gotta wake up now. It's time to fly away. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to how much fun they're having. Maybe they're having some sort of party or something like that. <laughs> they're having so much fun. We should go and join in. Tig, but it's time for us to fly off now. Yeah, but all we do is fly these days, Leo. I've already forgotten how we used to play and have fun. Yeah, I have to admit, I would also like to play something. Okay then, let's go and have some fun. <laughs> hey there, you guys. Can we join in on your game? Sure, no problem. The more the barrier. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! Would you look at that? It seems spots and stripes are here. Hey! You're playing a fun game! Well, well, well... Ah, 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 come on! Come on! Let's go and play with them, huh? Oh, please! You want to play? Sure, we can play. Hide and seek. We can focus on the hiding part. <laughs> psst, psst. Listen to my plan. We're going to kidnap the monkey and steal the ship for ourselves. That's a great plan, <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we want the monkey? The monkey is the one who can show us where to find the treasure. Got it? Oh, I get it now. I get it. Then let's get going. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Can I join in the game? Well, okay. Uh... So what's your name, huh? Um, uh, Tonda. Well, okay, Tonda. Come play. The more the merrier. No, no, no. But not with us. You can't play with us. Hey, where are you going? What about the game? Hmm, it's 
strange. Anyway, wanna play catch? <laughs> Come on! No, no, no! Hide and seek will be better. I really miss the days when we used to play hide and seek. Oh yeah? Well, I call dibs. Go hide, I get to seek first. One, two, three. Tanya? But what are you doing? I'm hiding. <laughs> you're what? But you're way wider than the tree. If you hide there, Leo would find you straight away. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Tonda, what are you doing? He's gonna spot you from a thousand feet away. Uh, 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 Nine, uh, ten. Uh, uh, Ready uh, or not, uh, here I come. Uh, It seems you're a little big for the hiding part of hide and seek, huh, Tonda? Uh, 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 I'm really sorry. Well, why don't we just play a different game then? Good idea, Yara. As Mappa always says, wherever there are friends, a game can always be found. in one piece. Uh, I've done it again. I always ruin everything. Tonda, <laughs> don't cry. First the giraffes ran away. <laughs> and now you guys want to leave. This always happens to me. I'm just too big for anything. Well, it's not so much that you're too big. It's just uh, you're too large. If only, oh, if only rhinos were still small like they used to be. <laughs> if only things were like before. Like before uh, how? What's wrong? Don't you know about the legend? We heard about the legend when our daddy told us about it. A long, long time ago, the savannah was home to the very first little rhinoceros. And he was teeny tiny, almost as small as a bunny rabbit. He went to the spirit of the savannah, and he asked for a special favor. He wanted to grow. He asked to be bigger and even bigger still. And the rhino got so big that he outgrew all of his enemies. He was proud to be so big, but he also outgrew all of his friends. He was worried that he might crush somebody's paw or maybe stand on their tail by accident. And so the rhino became sad. Nobody wanted to play games with him anymore. Then one day, the rhino met a little bird who was so lonely. His name was Oxpecker. The bird wasn't afraid, so he didn't try to fly away. Quite the opposite. The little bird was able to see that the huge rhino was a delicate soul who was sensitive and had a kind heart and wasn't frightening at all. And so the little bird and the rhino became friends and played together. Ever since then, the little oxpecker birds have been inseparable from the enormous rhinos. That's awesome! <laughs> Tonda, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Not even the little oh, birds hey, will hey, be hi. friends with me. <laughs> Tonda, but don't leave. <laughs> Quiet! Let go of me! Go away! That small boy is following us! <laughs> 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 
happens to be our captive. Uh, just hand over the monkey, would you? Just try and take her, little friend. Uh, but she's really big, Tasman. You can do what you want, but I'm out of here. <laughs> that makes two of us. Yeah, she's a little too big. Uh, oh. Lily, uh, uh, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, Tonda and the little bird saved me. Uh. You drove away all of those annoying little flies. Thank you so much. What's that? You said you want to play a game with me? Really? <laughs> it looks like our friend Tonda <laughs> has someone to play games with. <laughs> Nice that the cute little bird has finally found her very own rhino. <laughs> and Tonda has finally found herself a good friend. <laughs> We've already flown past these acacias. Don't you think that we might be lost? Oh, this is really bad. Our water supply is running low. <gasps> hey guys, look! We haven't seen those black cacti yet. That means we haven't flown through here. Oh, wow. Live moving cacti. They don't look like cacti. They look more like hedgehogs. Well, then, we have to land and ask them the way. Each according to their ability. <laughs> so, how does it look on me? Ah, it fits you like a glove. Go on, then. Give us a little twirl. <gasps> oh, my. Prickle my needles. <gasps> it's a giant wooden bird! Oh my! Ah! Someone protect me! Uh. Uh, hello, my name is Leo. And this is Tig, Martik, Lily, Mila, Yara, and Kuba. <laughs> We've flown to you from the forest, from the north. What are you? Are you African hedgehogs? What? We're not any kind of hedgehog at all. We are porcupines. Shade, Jemima, and Needle. And thanks to the wind whipped up by your big wooden bird, we ended up having to interrupt our, our, our way back home. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't mean to disturb you. We're searching for Lily's home. Until then, the ship is our home. Then maybe you could invite us on board, you know, to make it up to us. I'm so interested to see what you have inside. <laughs> of course, great idea. Come on in. This is the rudder. We steer it where we want to go. Wow. This is the anchor. We throw it down when we land somewhere. Ah. Not uh huh. It's a hoy. Here's the oar. Paddle if you want to go faster. Wowee, everything on the ship is so big. And this is where we put our supplies. Ah. We only have a couple apples left. How interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so, as a thank you for your hospitality, we're going to put on a little performance for you all. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's awesome. <laughs> May I borrow some of these apples for the, um, the performance. The apples? But of course. I love watching performances. Hello! Oh boy! <laughs> this is so amazing! <laughs> yeah, again, again! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is so cool! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, and that concludes our show. <laughs> hey, what about the route? We didn't ask the way. <gasps> hey, Jemima, you were magnificent as always. You were like a boa constrictor with a rabbit when you enchanted those furry fools. <laughs> Jemima! Hey, Jemima! Shade! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm sorry about that. You haven't happened to see some porcupines, have you? 
They're kind of dark colored and spiky. <laughs> yeah, they were just here. They're such great entertainers. They did such a good job juggling all those apples. What do you mean they're great entertainers? They're just a bunch of thieves. They ran off with my crown. Your crown? But we thought it was their crown. No, it belongs to my dad. My daddy is a lion. He's the king of the beasts. That's his crown. You see, I took it so I could play with it without asking. Yeah, I'm the king of the beasts. Oh, what a cool crown you're wearing. You think I can spin it? Absolutely not. This crown is royal property. Oh, well, spin it yourself then. Me? But I don't know how to. <laughs> it's really easy. Heads up. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Teach you how to do it. <laughs> Hooray! Now I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah, indeed you are. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, loser. <laughs> Those porcupines are con artists. What am I going to tell my dad now? Hmm, these apples are going to be so tasty. How is it? Hmm, it's appley. Ah, huh, yeah, appley. By the way. I also managed to grab something else that looked quite interesting. They stole... They stole the only apples we had! The anchor! They took the anchor, too! To the ship at once! Or else it'll fly away without an anchor! And me? But what about me? Oh, I'm sorry, your future highness. Come on, jump! I'm not going back home until I... Get that crown! So, are you gonna tell us why we're lugging this heavy thing? This thing is much too heavy to take along, and it's way too gigantic, and even worse, completely inedible. Well, prick my needles, you two. Why don't you tell me why we took the lion's crown, huh? Jemima, why are you wearing that crown, huh? For the same reason that you took the anchor. Just because, so I could have it. But you guys, next time we steal something, Let's make sure that it's useful, huh? Or at least something that's more edible. Look up there! Hurry, let's hide this thing and run away! They're never gonna catch us! <laughs> Down there! It's my crown! <laughs> Look how shiny it is! But never mind, we'll be sure to catch them! To the right! No, wait! To the left! Yeah. Wait, no! Straight ahead! It's up, Kay! Uh, Take your apples uh, back if you want them so bad! Ow! Uh, oh, yeah? Well, I'll show you! Hold on! I've got an idea! <laughs> they're leaving! No, wait, they're up to something! Run away, quick! them back to my dad. They should be punished. Oh, you thieves. <gasps> Please, don't hurt us. We'll give it all back. We won't steal anymore, I promise. Well, thieves can never be trusted. Arrest them immediately. <gasps> but please, no, please, no, 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 please, don't. Please, don't do it, please, no. But even if they're punished, the spines through their hearts won't disappear. What? Do you actually believe them? Well, I believe that there's still some good in them. They're just a little confused. Hmm. <laughs> Nobody's ever treated us so kindly before. Nobody loves us. Yeah, just because we have big spines. No, not because of your spines, but because you guys steal things. Uh, but what can we do? We don't know how to do anything else. That can't be true. Listen to this story about a nightingale. Once, a nightingale heard that every bird has its own talent. He thought, what kind of talent do I have? He didn't know how to drink while flying like a swift hawk. 
He couldn't hammer out a hole like a woodpecker. He couldn't see in the dark like an owl. <sighs> the nightingale became sad, sat on a branch, and began to sing his song. He sang so well that all the birds of the forest flocked to him and listened to the nightingale until dawn, holding their breath. Then the nightingale realized that he had been looking in the wrong place for his calling and his talent had always been there without him noticing. Just like you, do you really not see who you are? You guys are all the real artists. <gasps> you know, she's right. I really love when we do our performances. Bush babies. Everybody ready? Then let's go! Yara, aren't you coming with us? Tig, did you forget? I'm the sailor on duty. Today, I'm guarding the ship. And while I'm at it, I'll do some cleaning. We're just going to gather some food and water, and then we'll be right back. Yara, should I stay back here with you? Don't worry about it, Lily. I'll manage this broom somehow. Hmm? Hmm. <gasps> oh. huh? hmm. <sighs> I really miss being back home. So beautiful, so big and magical. There's forests and oceans, the deserts and sands. I dream of cedar trees, the rivers sparkling. Beloved land, my own. How I want to go home, go home. We've seen so many countries across the world. Lily is our captain through all the storms. No wind or no heat could be an obstacle. To make their way home. The world's so beautiful, so big and magical. There's forests and oceans, the deserts and sands. I dream of cedar trees, the rivers sparkling. Beloved land, my own. How I want to go home. We don't somehow manage to sniff out where spots and stripes are gonna head off to next, then Tasman is gonna skin us alive! But why do we need to know that, Spike? So we can overtake them and then get our hands on the treasure before they do! Hmm? Ha! Hmm. Nah! Spots and stripes are nowhere around here. Let's go and check somewhere else. Oh! Look at that, Spike! What is she holding? It's good that we have you, magical guiding arrow. You'll point us in the right direction for sure. Mwah. But I don't get it. Where does it show the way to? And where are they flying to? It must be to the treasure. But are you quite certain? Yeah, 100%. No, a 
thousand percent. Well then, if we get our paws on that magical arrow, we'll no longer have to keep secretly following them. So I guess that means that we should go steal it from Slow them. down. By now, spots and stripes must have already returned. We can give them a pow pow, huh? I feel an idea is starting to form. There's a new moon tonight, which means that it'll be so dark that they won't see a thing. It'll be easy. We'll steal the arrow from under their noses, right? <laughs> now tell me, where do they keep it? No, don't tell me. Tell Philin. He sees better than anybody in the dark. I'm sending him on the job. There. Now we're all set to take off. But there's no moon out. There's no way that we could fly in this kind of darkness. Ugh, what a shame. But oh well. We can get some sleep and take off at dawn. You guys sleep. I can keep watch. I'm on duty after all. Should I join you, Yara? It's really dark out right now. What is this? You think because I'm small that I'm afraid of the dark? <sighs> but what if you fall asleep? But I won't. I said I can handle it. And handle it I will. Who's there? Stop! Hey! Get that back! Bad birdie. Oh, you bad birdie. How could you possibly go and lose the magical arrow? We have to find it, no matter how long it takes. <laughs> With this darkness in the forest, that's impossible. That's exactly why we have the owl, fill in. Where are you, magical guiding arrow? Allow me to introduce myself, Taongo of the Great Bush Babies. And this is my little pet, Luciolo Africano, a very rare breed of firefly. You won't find another one in the forest, the son of African and Luciola, the greatest couple of lightning bug champions and the grandson of the synchronized blinking masters, the beautiful stop, Makia. Stop, stop, stop. That's all extremely interesting. However, I'm currently searching oh, for something. In that case, milady, perhaps I could be of service. I don't need help. Um, uh, but I can't see anything. There she is! Oh, Hurry, tree. grab her! Oh, grab her, quick! There she is! Oh, 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 villain, fly yeah, faster! Come on, get, get her! her. Get her. We can't let her get away! If you will allow me to, I'd be happy to help. I'll deal with the Martins myself somehow. After her! There she is! Fly yeah, faster, fly villain! Faster. Oh, oh, oh. oh, let go of me! Oh, you stupid dreamer! As my most noble grandmother always used to say, there is no shame in accepting help from someone who truly wishes to offer their help. All set. Thanks very much. I am Yara. Where did they disappear to? On the left. There's a hole. Lift your legs. There are roots. Stop! There are thorns! But how do you see in the dark, Taongo? Ah, how do you do it? Our ancient family is very famous for its night vision. There she is! Ah! After them! 
Fly faster! We're right on their tails! We'll get them now! They're gaining on us! What's he doing? Oh, it looks like he's calling his relatives for help. We hey, should run. Hey, watch out! Hooray! We found the ship. Oh, it looks like everyone's asleep. It was a pleasure to meet such an independent and courageous young lady who happens to be equally as beautiful. If it wasn't for your help, this courageous young lady would have fallen into greater trouble. Thank you. Uh, Yara, is that you? Uh, I had a weird dream that the magical guiding arrow had been stolen. Well, it was nothing but a bad dream. Hey, it's light already. Let's get going. Tasman, please, buddy, take us along with you. Look what we've collected just for you. Uh -huh. Take a look at what we collected. I've got no use at all for you two. You couldn't catch a lynx and some googly-eyed critter. You two are staying right here. Fill in! Let's get flying! Ah, oh, it's so good to be alone again. <laughs> Don't worry, Melky. You know why Tasman was so angry? It's because he didn't have any sweet fruit to snack on. But once he fills up his belly, he'll get kinder. And then we can prove to him that we're really useful. Uh, that is, if we don't fall first. <laughs> Pango the Magnificent. Okay, everyone, it's time for lunch. Oh, well, don't mind if I do this. Oh, well, there goes our lunch. But I, but I didn't mean to do that. It's okay, we'll land. We need to gather up more supplies for the journey anyway. Yara, where are you going? I'll be right back. I'm just going to look for the basket. Huh. <gasps> hey! What? Get out of here! Shoot! Scram! Ah! They're biters! They're biters! Bang down the hatches! All hands on deck! They're trying to come aboard! Don't let them get too close! Be careful! <laughs> Shoot! Just go away! <laughs> Monsters! <laughs> 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 Just go away! Ah! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but why don't you just take off? Yara, these fighters have already damaged the way! My friend. Well, my my friends need help. It's the biters. <sighs> if they need someone who's good at chasing, then I'm your cheetah. Chasing and racing? An army of biting little nibblers is attacking our ship right now. An army of little nibblers? 
Do they have six legs and not wood? Oh, that must be termites. Uh, uh, I'm really sorry, but I, I... I can't help you. This requires someone with a much thicker hide than mine. <gasps> Tinda! Oh, Yara. Hey there. How do you like my newest pretty little shell? I found it over in the swamp. Tonda, boy, am I glad that I ran into you. I really need your help. Come on, let's go. Let's go, quickly. Uh, but where are we going? Uh, oh, to play? Mm, we're not playing a game right now, Tonda. We need to chase away some termites. Some termites? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but they're going to pull me apart into a hundred tiny rhinoceros pieces. But you have thicker skin than anyone. But skin isn't enough. Something much stronger is needed here. <gasps> yeah! I know who can help you out. Pango the Magnificent! Once a long time ago, a huge army of termites attacked our Africa. Thousands upon thousands of them came. Nobody was able to contain the invasion. Then out of nowhere, a great warrior appeared who went by the name of Pango. His armor of magnificently tough scales sparkled in the sunshine. There was no limit to the warrior's courage. Pango fearlessly rushed straight at the termites and fought them off for three days and three nights. The enemies attacked, but broke their jaws when they bit his armor, so they retreated in fear. And our brave hero was then known as Pango the Magnificent in honor of his magnificent splendor and bravery in the great battle. That's who can help you. Pango the Magnificent? And where can I find this Pango? There. By the big baobab. Pango! Pango the Magnificent, are you there? Excuse me, have you seen Pango the Magnificent around here? There are some termites that are attacking. Termites? I've seen him. He's probably gone to the lake. Of course, definitely go to the lake. Armor? Like in the legend? Hmm. And might you be Pango? Me? <laughs> Me? Come on now. What nonsense. But look at this. Strong armor and shiny scales. It's definitely you. Wait, please come back. We really need your help. My friends are in great danger. It's the termites. They've got them surrounded. Sorry, no can do. I have important business to attend to. What business? You are just sitting there in a hole. Well, I'm <coughs> not feeling well. What do you mean? But you were fine just now. <sighs> oh, now I'm stuck? That's it. Now I'm stuck. I can't seem to get out of here, but it was nice to meet you. Goodbye, take care. Yep. Well, you certainly aren't the same Pango the Magnificent from the legend. He was the bravest of the brave. And you're nothing but a scaredy cat. I'm not a scaredy cat. It's just that I recently lost a scale, you see? If I had this little scale, then I could be a hero again. Well, even if I didn't have a scale, but I at least had something very strong, something that could finally seal the hole in my armor. Something very strong, something very strong. I think I saw something that might work. I'll be back. <laughs> Tonda, can I have your shell, please? You want my new shell? Uh, uh, what for? I need it to save our friends. Oh, well, if it's for our friends, then okay. Take it. Ugh, but it's really dirty. It's covered in mud. <laughs> it's the scale from the armor. Thank you so much, Tonda. Is this yours? That's mine. <laughs> or maybe it's not. There. It's like a glove. Now you're back in service. 
Quick, we have to hurry. Where to? Uh, I mean, what for? To save my friends, so you can be a hero. Oh, here we go. Onwards, Pango the Magnificent. Heroic deeds await you. <laughs> Take that! Leo! We can't hold out much longer! But we have to save the ship! Otherwise, we'll never get anywhere! I'm here! And I brought you guys some help! <laughs> Onwards, Pango! Uh, me? Ooh, but I can't fight! Please help my friends! It's just that I lost my scale again. If I had the lost scale, then I could be a hero once more. Uh. Stop! You don't have any armor on! Wow, what a girl! Well, here goes nothing! Take that! Take that and that! Yay. And you too! I'll get you all! Hooray! <laughs> starting to retreat. What? What's going on? Retreating already? I was just warming up. <laughs> yeah! Hooray! Yeah! Hooray! 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 Pango! Yeah! Pango! <laughs> Pango, you're a hero. Hooray! Hooray! Yeah! Oh, yeah, Pango! Pango! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the first time I've fought without my scale. Remember, more important than armor is belief in yourself, so thank you. Pango the Magnificent. Thank you for believing in me and helping me to restore my bravery. Now I can once again be Pango the Magnificent. By the way, you fought wonderfully. I think I'm going to call you Yara the Fearless Feline. Well, my work here is done. I'll be seeing you guys. Martique, time to check the rigging. I just found some spare rope we can use. Tig, you've gone and tied up my tail. It's not my fault. Be more careful. Watch where you're putting your tail. The Earth Tooth. Oh, it's really hot out. Ugh. Soon you're gonna end up with a sun-dried tiger. Leo, can you pass the bucket of water over to me, please? Tig? Looks like we're completely out of water. Out of water? Like, completely, completely out of water? Oh, I'm just so thirsty. I'm really mm. thirsty, too. <gasps> hmm. Now we've got to come up with something. <gasps> Hey, you guys! Look over there! It's a river! <gasps> water! Water! Yay! Water! Yay! Water! Well done, Lily! It's time to land! Oh, oh! Careful! Vines! Tig, more to the left! I can't move it! The oar seems to be stuck! It's 
It's okay. <laughs> All is not lost just yet. And one, two, let's go! Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hopeless. <laughs> no way. We have to take a break. And I, I really need something to drink. Yes, Tig. You're right. We need to get water. Let's go. Uh, ow! Uh, there's so much wood just lying about everywhere. Tig, that isn't wood at all. It looks like, uh, it's some kind of tooth. That's it, a tusk. And a massive one. You mean that this is just a big tooth? But if this is only the tooth, then how humongous must its owner be? Oh, I wouldn't want to come across such a gigantic and sharp-toothed monster like that. Without a doubt, it would love to snack on leopards. Well, and tigers, too. <gasps> ah, it's monster! a monster! Stop! Wait! Please help me! Are we really never gonna find a way to get out of here now? Leo and Tig will think of something, Lily. Just wait. You will see. Huh? What is huh? that? Save yourselves! A tusk monster is headed this way! It's massive, with huge teeth, and it's been chasing us! Quickly! Everyone inside! Does this monster have th three legs? Yeah, and he also has 100 gigantic teeth. Tig, don't exaggerate. It's just two tusks, not 100. Uh-huh, but have you forgotten about that huge tusk that we found by the riverbank earlier? I bet that belongs to him as well. Oh, oh, I'm so scared. And his nose was so long. It was like the longest, longest vine you've ever seen. It was amazing. He probably uses it to track down his prey before he goes and grabs it. Oh, oh, quiet. Do you hear that? Tooth. I bet he's probably thinking that we dragged it away. Tig, we need to get him out of here, back towards the river. No way. I'm not doing that. Fine then. I'll do it myself. Hey! Tusked monster! I'm here! Catch me if you think you can! I'll show you where your tooth is! Ha! Leo! Where are you going? Leo, come back here! Here we go again. What are you gonna do this time, Leo? Leo, wait up! I'm coming with you. Please stop! I need you to help me! There! Leo! Look out! Leo, he's gonna crush you with his giant foot! Run away! Leo! But what are you? Uh. Hey, you! Big monster, don't you dare try and squash my best friend, or you're gonna have to answer to me! Mm. Ah! Me! Wait, Tig, I think you might need some help. Just look. You see? He has a splinter in his foot. Come on, let's help him out. Well, Lily? Do you see them? Not yet. I can't see a thing. Oh, no. But where could they have gone to? Maybe the humongous monster has taken them. Ah! It's a monster! monster! Ah! Right, left. One, two, three. And left, stop. One, two. <laughs> We have arrived. Don't worry, guys. It's just us. Come on. Check out our new friend. Leo? Tig? 
Allow me to give you assistance. There you go. Now everything is fixed. So that's why he has the really long nose. I guess it isn't for hunting prey after all. It's so he can pick off branches for lunch. Uh-huh. That's it. <laughs> hey, guys. I remembered something. My mom told me about an animal with a nose just like that. It is called a mammoth. Oh, great and mighty mammoth. Thank you so much for your help. Mammoth? <laughs> no, no, what are you saying? Mammoths are my distant relatives, but I've never seen them myself. Long ago, when fierce glaciers approached from the north, lived great beasts with long teeth, tusks. They were called mammoths. Mammoths weren't afraid of anyone. They were very strong. But they were also very kind. If anybody was in trouble, the mammoths would come to their rescue. But then one day, the mammoths mysteriously disappeared. Nobody knows exactly where they went. But to this day, their huge teeth can be found laying on riverbanks. And when people find them, they are known as earth teeth. So that means that the giant tooth that we found on the riverbank earlier was actually a mammoth's earth tooth? Ha <laughs> ha! That is correct. It is a mammoth tusk, kids. <clears throat> the tusk of a mammoth. And I'm not a mammoth. I am an elephant. <laughs> and you said he was a big, scary monster. As Mappa Pandiga once said, you must not judge people based on their first appearance. Those who seem to be scary at the very first glance might actually turn out to be some of your best friends in the end. See you later. Bye, Mr. Elephant. Thank you for all of your help. Goodbye. And safe travels, my friends. I'm always happy to help. Ah. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Aha! I can finally see Spotty and Stripey ship straight ahead of us. <laughs> we finally caught up to these guys. <laughs> <laughs> we caught up! We caught up! After them! Fly faster! What's that, Jake? Have you found something? There! That's all that's left. Hey, Lily! What's wrong? It wasn't enough for everyone anyway. Koopa, buddy, try to be patient. Okay, we need to head into the jungle and stock up on some supplies. The Snake Charmer. Look out for fruits and nuts, but don't wander off too far. Stay nearby so nobody gets lost. Agreed? Hey, look over there. I think I can see some kind of fruit. <gasps> it's a flower. Mila, don't get separated. All right, all right. I'll be right there. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. Wow, there's another one. <gasps> and another. Leo? Tig? Yara! Hello? And what now? I've gotten lost. Hmm. Why didn't I just listen to Tig and his rule? Hey, but what's that? Where's that sound coming from? Told you so. He just wanted to take a quick break. 
Well, I am your captain, and I order you to continue flying, and I mean right now, immediately. Fine, whatever. We'll manage without you, feather brain. Yeah. Uh, but how exactly will we fly? Just be quiet. Do you hear that? Music. Interesting, interesting. He's making the snake dance around. No, it's all the flute. That's what has control over the snake. And very soon, that flute will be ours. Was that you playing that beautiful music just now? Yes, I was playing the flute. I'm Mungo. Who are you? I've not seen you in the jungle before. My name's Mila. I'm traveling around with my group of friends. But we ran out of supplies, so we stopped to gather some more. And I, I, I got lost. And also, I am really, really, really starving. Hey, don't cry. Here, why don't you try these nuts? Mmm, how tasty. It's a cashew nut. Oh. There are loads of them here. Those are my friends. They're looking for me. Well, go to them then. And take some nuts with you. I'll gather some more for you and bring them. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mungo. <laughs> Leo, Tig, I'm here. I'm coming. Hmm. Move it quickly, <gasps> Melky. Get the magic flute and let's get out of here. Hey, hey. Give it to me! I'll take that! No, me! No, I'm gonna hold it! No, me! Enough! Give it to me! Hey! I'll... I'll have you know that only a real snake charmer is capable of playing the magic flute. And that's me. <laughs> and I have an amazing plan! We're going to sneak onto Spots and Stripes' flying ship, and with the help of this magic flute, we'll summon a snake! <laughs> then they'll see it, get frightened, and run away screaming! Which means that we'll get the ship for ourselves! <laughs> huh? Whoa, tasty. Well, too bad there aren't any more. But my new friend promised to bring us some more soon. Mila, so tell us, who's your new friend? Oops! I, I, I forgot to ask him what kind of animal he is. <laughs> the time has come for the snake charmer to magically call the snake. Watch and learn, my friends. Oh, can I do it? I know how to. All right, give me that. This is how a real snake charmer should play the magical flute. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Let a master show you how it's done. near the ship. We should check it out. You stay here. I'll see what happened. There's no one here. Oh, I wonder what this is. Huh. It looks like some sort of flute. But how did it get here? <coughs> snake, snake. Snake on the ship! Oh, my goodness! We have to get it off our ship. Go away, shoo! Go away! This is our flying ship. I think the snake is telling us that it wants us to leave. Retreat! Retreat! <laughs> so what do we do now? She wasn't even scared of our stick. I don't know. Maybe we could find a bigger stick. Hey, you guys. I just remembered something. Far to the south, in India, there lived a cobra who was queen of the snakes. But it wasn't enough for her to rule over just the snakes. The queen cobra wanted to command the entire jungle. 
She ordered all of her snakes to slither into every burrow and every nest. And if the animals and birds refused to bow down to her, she would drive them out of the jungle. All the birds and beasts gathered for a meeting. Who would speak up against the snake? But nobody dared. There was only one beast who was brave enough, the mongoose. The courageous mongoose went to the queen cobra and challenged her to a battle. She readily agreed that if mongoose was victorious, that the snakes would go back to where they came from. For three days and three nights, mongoose and cobra fought. The snake tried her best to strike down the mongoose, but he was so crafty and swift that she never managed to bite him even once. The cobra grew tired and gave up. And so she retreated with her army of serpents back to the mountain passes and swamps. The birds could return back to their nests and the animals to their burrows. And ever since then, the mongoose has been considered the bravest animal in the jungle. Oh, wow. Well, if only that mongoose was here with us, he would have shown that bully of a snake. That's true, but how would we find him? The jungle is so big. Mila, I thought I'd never find you. Here are the nuts. I brought them as promised. Hurry! It's Mongo! He's the one I told you about. Mongo, you live here, so maybe you know where we can find a mongoose. Why do you need one? Don't you know I'm a mongoose? Wait, you're a mongoose? Well, of course. I'm a mongoose. Who else would I be? <laughs> and so am I, mongoose. <laughs> do you even know what a mongoose is? <laughs> He's the defeater of snakes, and you, ha, <laughs> you're no bigger than little Mila. We'll just have to drive the snake from the ship all by ourselves. Snake, could you show me what kind of snake you have there? Oh, it's my friend Nagi. What exactly is a Nagi? Nagi's a cobra, we're best friends. She always appears when I play my flute. She's not evil at all. She just got angry because you threatened her with a stick. Now she needs to be calmed down. But how do you calm her down? Well, for that, I will need my snake charming flute. Will that do? There's one over there. Huh, that's my flute. How did it end up over here? All right, now pick up your sticks and repeat after me. Are we in agreement, Featherbrain? Huh? We'll give you the biggest fish, and in exchange, you take us on further. It's <laughs> a really big one! Give me a hand, Melky! Pull! What? Pull uh. harder! <laughs> well, you're truly a hero. The coolest snake charmer there ever was. She's so scary, but you're not even frightened. Those who seem scary might be more scared of you than you are of them. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Goodbye, Nagi. Goodbye, Nagi. <laughs> Necklace from a forgotten city. Ugh, it's so wonderful to finally be able to get some refreshing rest. Uh -huh. Please, help us. Please, Please help, help us! Someone help us! Please help us! So much for getting some rest. Follow me! Hey, do you guys need some help? Were you calling for help? Hey, who needs to be saved? How strange. I don't think anyone needs help. Hey! Uh, maybe someone's playing a joke on us. Playing a joke? I'll have to teach this joker a lesson. <gasps> <laughs> the ship! Oh no! Somebody's trying to steal our airship from us. Let's go after them. Give us our flying ship back! It's your flight! 
flying ship. Why have you stolen it from us? Stolen it from you? Ay, 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 ay. But how very naughty. Naughty is a very mild way of putting it. Oh, my, but how very naughty. Coming to our house without being invited and then calling us names. Ay, 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 ay. Very bad indeed. You are very bad indeed. Bad! Bad! bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, Chief Anupam, have not stolen anything. It was merely free for the taking. There was no one around to claim it. So therefore, the lovely flying carriage in question is all mine. Uh, I'll teach you. Anu, whatever your name is. <laughs> We're not going to get anywhere like this, Tig. There are too many of them. Hey, Anupom, if you don't want to give us back our ship, can we swap it for something instead? Hmm. There is only one thing in the whole wide world that is better than a big flying carriage. The Necklace of Kings. From the mystical Forgotten City. Necklace! Necklace! <laughs> you bring the necklace here to me, and I, in utmost gratitude, will gladly give you my lovely flying carriage. Ha! <laughs> Yours? But you must beware. The necklace is extremely well guarded. The Necklace of Kings is secretly hidden away, protected by the most faithful of guards. The first protective guard has a gaze that burns, and the second can alter destiny with his head, and the third guard has a gaze that confuses and deceives, and the last guard devours. No one gets away from him. No one gets away! No one gets away! I don't think this is going to be an easy task. I'll go along with Tig and Lily. The rest of you guys can keep watch. If anything happens to us while we're in there, you'll need to come to the rescue. Be careful, you guys. Stay safe. <gasps> Did you hear what he just said? The Necklace of Kings! That must be the treasure the monkey's looking for! Hmm, maybe so. Quick, let's go! We gotta get there before Spots and Stripes do. Hold on, didn't you hear him, Spike? What about the guards? <sighs> we will have to act with extreme cunning. <sighs> oh! Let them go after the treasure first, and clear the way for us. <laughs> And you wanted to go in there first. Uh, oh. Hold on. Remember what Anupan told us? The gaze of the first guard burns. So the first guard must be around here. There he is. What, are you gonna ask him to let us pass? Just look at him. He's made of stone. <laughs> Try crossing now! Ugh. Well done, Lily! Let's go! Wow. Huh? Ah. Hey! Open up now! I really don't think we're destined to find this special necklace. The second guard can alter destiny with his head. We need to find the second guard. Hey, there it is. If it wasn't for you and your quick thinking, Leo, we'd all be flat as a pancake right now. Thanks to me, and also the second guard's big stone head. <laughs> Thanks for clearing all of the booby traps for us, Spots and Stripes. <laughs> Did you see how cunning I was? <laughs> Watch and learn. Just a little bit further, and the Necklace of Kings will be ours! <laughs> It'll be all ours! <laughs> all ours! <laughs> it's 
It's the necklace of kings! Hmm? Huh? This must be a uh. fake necklace! Uh. <laughs> Another riddle or something? It's pretty obvious. If you can't get away from him, there's only one option. We run! And today had started out so well. Yeah, well, I hope that our adventure today is over now. It's really the necklace of kings. Now you have to keep your promise. Give us back our ship. <laughs> Uh, no, I think I've changed my mind. Change your mind? <laughs> Everybody watch as Chief and you, Pam, puts on the legendary mystical necklace of kings. Necklace! Necklace! I keep wondering, who was it that was shouting in the forest earlier? It was all a big trick to get us to walk away from the ship. Well, then whoever thought of that is bad and dishonest and he will be sure to turn into stone once he puts the necklace on. Because after all, it is written on the necklace. Uh, put me on if you are honest. It is written on here. If you are honest and kind, and be glorious. For you will forever be turned into stone. Uh, uh, st st stone? Um, forever? Uh, uh, you know what? Let's hang it here for now. <laughs> I'll try it on later, uh, somehow. By the way, since I'm honest, since I am honest, the flying carriage is all yours. I was only joking. <laughs> and seeing as I'm also so good, seeing as I'm so good, I've decided to give it to you. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the necklace will help Anupam to stop cheating all the time. And to become a good chief. <laughs> a good chief who's honest. Deception will themselves be deceived. Look at all this fog. It's so thick that you could practically touch it. Uh huh. What would happen if a rock were to appear there, right in front of us, Leo? <sighs> the Keeper of the River. Watch where you're flying! Don't go crashing into anything solid! Hey, Dazzy! I think we might be lost. As if the fog wasn't bad enough. We have to deal with this. We can never catch a break. Hey, you! Get out of here! 
Why are you following us? Think again! We're not going anywhere! You get out of here! No way! The sky isn't yours! Oh, yeah? And you think it's yours? Go and fly off someplace else, okay? But right here suits us just fine! Isn't that right, guys? You're so stubborn. You don't want to fly away? In that case, I'll help you. Whoa! Yeah! Oh, and that's how you want to play? Then take this! No! That's not fair! Again! <laughs> <laughs> well, then watch this. We'll see if I miss you this time. We're lucky. It's a good thing we landed in the water. Yeah, but this is this is your fault, Stripes. How is it my fault? You're the one who wouldn't fly away. No, that was you. And you're the one who started throwing things. Why are you guys even following us? You know what? Uh, -huh. it's none of your stripey business. Well, it will be when I'm finished with you. Go ahead. Come on then. Just try it. Stop it. You two should stop bickering and start thinking about how to save yourselves from the Keeper of the River. Wait, from who? <gasps> Who's there? Hey, Stripes. <sighs> Are you the Keeper of the River? Uh, please excuse us, if you don't mind. We really don't want to disturb you right now. You've already disturbed me. Uh, uh, please let us go, uh, please, sir. <laughs> well, if you can answer my riddle, then I'll let you go. Your riddle? I'll have you know that I'm a riddle champion. Oh, what a show off. <laughs> well, here's the first riddle then. Who has the biggest teeth of everyone in the river? <laughs> ha, that's a really easy one. Uh, it's a pike. <laughs> Incorrect answer. Time for the second riddle. Who catches tasty, soft animals who've gotten lost? Oh, I know, I know, I know! That would be our owl! Am I right? Because worms are soft and Phil and pecks them up when there's nothing else to be caught. No! Don't listen to him, O oh Keeper of the River. Our answer is the wolf. Wrong answer yet again. Time for the third riddle. Who hasn't had their lunch yet today? Oh, that's simple. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh that would be me. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm the one who hasn't had lunch yet. <laughs> the crocodile. You didn't solve the riddles, <laughs> so that means that now it's time for me to have my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're safe, or at least for now. I hope. <laughs> Spike! 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 Hello, Tig! Spike! Spike! Answer me! Hey, goody goodies, quit your wailing! I can't hear anything because of you. Maybe it would be better if you shut up. Or else what? Or else this, Melky. Stop arguing already. This is exactly why Spike and Tick fell. If we can't be friends, then let's at least leave each other alone. Huh. The little squirt is right. Fill in! Go ahead and fly on! Thanks for that, Mila. When you fight with someone, it's easy to forget when things are right and when things are wrong. We need to take the ship a little bit lower so we can get a better view. <laughs> what a stupid crocodile! Can you figure out this riddle? Who can't you seem to catch? Ah! Spike! 
Just put a lid on it, huh? Whoa! <sighs> ah! Dick! Do something to help me! I'm begging you! <laughs> hey! Mr. Crocodile! Yes, my soft little friend? Can we play a game? Nope. I'm really hungry. Ah! Ah! Wait, hold on, wait, hold on! Ah! Uh, uh, you love riddles, don't you? Mm. Well, I've just remembered one. How about this? If you can answer the riddle correctly, then we will go ahead and climb down. And if you guess wrong, then you can let us go. <laughs> I love myself a good riddle. Sure, let's hear this riddle of yours. Um, uh, what's orange and has stripes and can be found on a tree? Uh, uh, a bee? Ha <laughs> ha! You didn't guess it! <laughs> All hey, right, let's go! But I gave you both three chances. That means that I still have two chances left. Uh... Orange with stripes and can be found on a tree. But of course! It has to be a stripey orange! <laughs> nope! Uh, then it's a mandarin! Nope! <laughs> <sighs> well, it was not a pleasure to meet you. Bye, Mr. Crocodile! Spy! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey, brother! Hey, you guys! Milky! Tazzy, old pal! Grab on! <laughs> And who do we have now? Well, actually, those are the bad guys. But I am glad to see them, because for sure they'll help me to get out of here. Uh, uh, all set. Let's go! Hey! Wait, hold on! What about me? <laughs> hey! Crocodile! The correct answer is a tiger, specifically named Tig! Why, you? I'm going to get you! <laughs> If we ever see each other again! <laughs> I never thought of that. It is you, little fluffy one. That's true. You are orange and quite stripy. Well, at least until I'm through with you. <laughs> We'll have to catch me first. <laughs> <laughs> you can't catch this stripe yours. Tig, hold on tight, quickly. You found me. You found me. Like, try and guess the answers to my riddles. Spike, <laughs> don't wriggle so much or you'll fall. Well, hello there, my oh. tasty, scrawny, friendy pie. Oh, uh, hello there. I just. Uh, I just remembered another riddle. Well, well, go on then. Uh, well, I, uh, what's small in size and, 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 and quite wet and rides a crocodile? <laughs> That would be you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, We have to go and save Spike! But just look at how hungry that crocodile is, and our line has torn off! I don't want to go any lower than this. Oh, come here. <laughs> my, my, Spike. And what do we have here? Hey, there's Stripe! That's it! Hey, you guys! Ah, stop! <laughs> As Mappa always said, whoever throws another into trouble will then find themselves in trouble. <laughs> The Two Captains. Tig, a little faster on the wing. Aye, aye, Leo. 
That's much better now. Yara, keep the rhythm. One, two, one, two. Well done. Now let's take it a little to the right. Hey, don't forget that the real captain of the ship is me. That means that I am the only one who can give out the commands. And by the way, I never commanded to change course or anything else. Well, maybe uh, we can take turns being Captain Lily. No, wait, forget it. The captain is me. Well, maybe oh. I want to be the captain as well. I have a commanding voice, and I know the ship inside and out. Oh, you know the ship? I don't think so. You just don't feel like sharing, and that's not how friends behave. You guys, don't argue. Leo, but Lily is actually the captain. Let her command the ship. But in my opinion, I think that Leo would be just as good a captain. That's what I'm saying. So that's how it's going to be? Okay, Leo. You could be the captain and forever because I quit. But that's not what I want. You can be the captain seeing as you're so greedy. No way. I won't do it. Well, I won't do it either. Maybe I could be the captain. No! no! Martek, you're still too small. Okay, look, how about this? We just land the ship. A ship can't sail without a captain. So let's land. Okay, uh, all set. So we don't waste any time. I got it. I have an idea. We can go and find some kind of food. And some flowers! Sailor Mardik, check the rudder. The rudder's in order, Captain Mardik. Check the condition of the wings. The wings are ready to fly. Excellent, Sailor. Cast off the lights. Casting off the lines, Captain! And away! Captain Bardic rules the sky! <laughs> Oops, I, I didn't mean to do that. I, I was only playing. Dig! Lay off! Martin! Oh no, Kuba! I guess, uh, uh, I can manage it. After them! Guys, I think that maybe we lost them. Maybe we could ask somebody if they've seen a ship pass by here. Uh-huh. Let's ask somebody, sure. That's a good idea. Except no one's here. <gasps> wow. Those are some beautiful looking flowers. Oh! 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 This really is something. First off, a huge wooden bird goes flying over my head. And now, my tail feathers are being pulled at. What a day. Excuse me, but who are you? Who am I? My name is Shandarmer. I'm a peacock. Did you just say that you saw a wooden bird? Well, that's our friend Martik. <laughs> Strange friends you have, dear sir. However... Which way did he fly? Where'd he go? Well, all right. I can take you there. Oh, I wanted to stretch my legs anyways. Ah! Follow me. <laughs> Can do it. I will do it. Uh, <laughs> 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 
don't understand, Lily. Why exactly can't I be the captain? My dad always said that a leader should never shift responsibility onto others. And that means captains, too. I know how to be responsible. <laughs> Go ahead and be the captain. Since you're so responsible, I already told you. I'm not arguing. Just a minute. Don't give me that. I'm not doing anything. Here we go again. Would you little ones like to hear a story? Anything, as long as we don't have to listen to these two. Well, once upon a time, long, long ago, there were two peacocks with the most glorious of tails. Well, rather like mine, but mine is better. And then, one day, they both found a bush with tasty berries at exactly the same time. Mm, so mouth-watering. But they began to argue over who would get to claim the treat. The first peacock claimed that his tail was the most beautiful, so he should get the berries. But the second peacock claimed the same. And so the argument began, and they argued and argued the entire day away. <sighs> Meanwhile, a little bird flew to the berries and... <laughs> and gobbled them all up! That's it? That's not much of a story. This is the macaque bridge! And over there, in that tree, is your friend, I believe. <laughs> there you go! I'll be off now! I hope that Martik won't try to eat me! Oh, but who knows? I wonder whether wooden birds eat peacocks. <gasps> the thought of it! Goodbye! Thank you for your help! Well, this bridge doesn't look very strong. Come on, you guys. One at a time. Who's up first? Well, actually, the captain should go first. So, Lily, you go first. You go. You wanted to be the captain. Ah! Our brave captains? Uh, 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 oh, uh, the bridge is crumbling! We're okay! For now! Wait right there! We're coming to get you! You know what? I think that I understand what the peacock's story was about. Uh-huh. Nothing but trouble can come from silly arguments. <gasps> the tree isn't gonna hold much longer. Climb onto my back! like a real captain should. Me? Yeah, you. You showed us both that a real captain isn't the one who merely gives commands, but rather the one who cares for the team. Ah, oh, nope. I'm not interested in being captain. It's too much hard work. It's okay. Let Lily be in charge when we're flying in the air, and you, Leo, when we're on the ground, like always. And I can be the captain commander of argument. But what's that? It's for when you two decide to start arguing over who's the real one in charge of the crew. Ha! That works. <laughs> I agree, too. You know what? <laughs> I can be the captain of the water. Um, well, I guess if we fall into the sea or something. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, but we're okay right now. <laughs> 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 
The Little Trickster. This patch for the wing is going to be so good. Let's fix up the ship and get going. What? Can't we rest a little bit first? Nope. Lily said that we're getting close to the monkey village. We have to move quickly before the treasure gets stolen. You hear that? Now we're going to find out something about the treasure. Whoa! Oh, but what's that? In the jungle, there were four smart guys collecting springy leaves together. How awesome! And honestly, <laughs> to you all, I must it must be built. Ding, 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 ding. Well, I don't know about the part about a monument, but he is right about one thing. We are pretty smart guys. I'm fishing, and I'm never seeing anything but the truth. By the way, I just happened to overhear. Were you talking about a treasure? Yeah, we were. Do you know anything about it? I do. It was stolen a long time ago. It, it was, was stolen? stolen? It, it was stolen? stolen? <gasps> oh, yes. Under the cover of darkness. Luckily, I know where the thieves have hidden the hamster treasure. Which hamsters are you referring to? Don't you mean the monkeys? Well, yeah, uh, but of course, the monkey treasure. Follow me. I'll show you where you can find it. Martik, you take the leaves back to the ship. We'll go and get the treasure and then be right back. They're kidding! Once again, they don't take me on their adventure. What are we waiting for? After them! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Where to now, Sheng? The treasure is on the mountain! All right. But I don't think this is going to be easy. If only I was born a mountain goat. Tig, there's no way that we can give up now. Look, there are some ledges on the mountain. Let's go! And there's an obstacle in the way, and it seems like they won't get through. But the three heroes refuse to give up as they speed to the treasure. Ooh. Ooh. All right, you guys wait here. Where did they go to? We need leaves to patch up the ship. Mm. Oh, here are the leaves. Martik, where are the others? They all ran off to find the hidden monkey treasure. The hidden monkey treasure? Uh-huh. The red-tailed one told them about it and where they can find it. Red-tailed? But was his tail fluffy? Did he have an air who with him? Uh, I don't know what an air who is, but he did have a guitar. Except it was round. Aw, uh, I don't believe this. What's the matter, Lily? I've heard about this little fox. He's quite small, but he's very cunning, and he fools everybody. We need to hurry and warn the others. Come on, let's fix the wing quickly, guys. Come on, Kuma. Get up there. <laughs> That's the way. <sighs> the treasure's starting to grow. No, 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 no. It's hidden in that tree. Ugh. Haha! <laughs> we have to go higher? Mm. The wall is getting steeper and we're running out of ledges. <sighs> There's no way we'll be able to climb all the way up there. Actually, there is a way. There's an old tunnel, but the entrance is caved in. That means we'll have to climb a rock. 
Oh, sure. It'll be easy peasy. Rocks are lying in our hero's path, and they could give up, seeing as there are only three of them. But the rocks aren't an obstacle for them. A reward is awaiting our brave heroes. Bling, bling, bling. You know, he's right. Come on. Ugh. Can't we move these rocks? Help me out, you guys. <laughs> Treasure located. It's in the tree. There's nothing up here. Vision! Uh, could you drop that pear down for me? It'll refresh my memory. <laughs> there it is! My lovely little treasure! <laughs> <gasps> Your what? This is a mountain paradise pear. The sweetest and rarest delicacy. Thanks for getting the pear down for me. <laughs> oh, you little crook. Hey, stop. Come back, you little thief. Get back here. You trickster! My lovely, tasty treasure! <laughs> well, gotcha. <laughs> So, do you actually know where the treasure is hidden? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, it's hidden under the old mountain. Uh, oh. I don't have time for songs. Where do we need to look for the treasure? Uh, it's in the swamp. Uh, uh, at the very bottom. But he just said that it was under the mountain. Uh huh. He doesn't even know anything. I can spot a liar a mile away. Hey, Philin! Show Red here what happens when you try to lie to Tasman. Give up, Tig. The whole tunnel has caved in. It would take us years to get through that. But we have to do something. After all, we're heroes. We're strong and smart and all that. Yeah, but we should never have listened to Vei Shang. Hey, you guys, over here!
Thank you for saving me. Here, this is yours. With its help, I fooled everyone. I hope that it will serve you much better. But what about you? <laughs> I'll just make myself a new one. And I will only sing honest songs from now on. <laughs> Once there was a clumsy hero, and often he would sit in a puddle, and then he started singing honest songs, because they were more interesting to sing. <laughs> <laughs> the Bamboo Master. Is everyone ready? Cast off the lines! Hold on! Hold on! Wait! Hold on! Spike! Spike's in trouble! Tasman has put him in a cage! Don't leave! Uh, please help my brother! I'm begging! Uh, you want us to help you save Spike? Please help him! He's in trouble! He needs help! No don't way! Say no. Uh, please don't say no! Please help my brother! I'm begging! Tig, uh, I know that Spike is no uh, angel. Please help my brother! But we have to help him! Yes, you have to help my After brother! After all, he is from our forest! Yeah! We're from the same forest! We animals must help each other out! Please help my brother! I'm begging! <laughs> Martik, seeing as you're the sailor on duty, you have to stay here with the ship. If anything happens, be sure to raise the alarm. Uh, but how do I raise it? Like this. Follow me. Hurry up. I'm just going to take a teensy witty peek, and I'll be right back. Uh, hey, Tazzy, old pal. Uh, are you really sure that this is a good idea? I... Nope. This is an excellent idea. <laughs> Ooh. And here they come now. Watch that you don't ruin this. Villain, let's go and hide. Ooh. Brother! I brought you some help! Oh, little brother! Milky, thank you so much! Please save me quickly before that villainous Tasman returns and gets me! He's crazy! Oh, I'm dying! Hold on, Spike! We're coming! <laughs> gotcha, you little suckers! You give me the monkey, and then I'll let you go. But why do you need Lily, Tasman? So I can exchange her for the treasure with her father, the king of the monkeys. Forget about it. We're not letting you take Lily. If you want to take her with you, then come on down here and try it. Hey, Philin, fly on ahead and go to the monkey village. Ooh. In the meantime, we'll think of a plan about how we can get their princess. Oh. Big trouble, big trouble! What should I do now? What should I do now? I got it! I'll raise the alarm! <sighs> hey, buddy! Why are you making such a racket? My friends have been captured by the bad guys! Oh, no. You have my sympathies. My goodness! But that looks just like my pole. Will you pass it to me, please? It is, it's mine. I've been looking for this everywhere. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> Guys, that means that you can go and see my friends. Hooray! Oh there, my little buddy. You see my leg? I'm in no state to fight anymore. You'll have to save your friends by yourself. By myself? No. But look how tiny I am. I can't save them. But maybe if I could twirl a big stick like you do. It's called gun shoe. And perhaps I could teach you the basic movements. If you're ready to learn, of course. Yeah, I'm ready. Well, okay then. You can call me Master Chang Pu.
Follow me, little one. Oh, by the way, this isn't called a stick. This is called a pole. Climb in and get the monkey. Jasmine! Oh, you both are absolutely no use at all! If you won't hand over the little monkey, then you'll be trapped in there forever. We'll get comfy then. Uh-huh. It's cozy here. Come and visit. Make yourself at home. <clears throat> here. Try this out. Yeah. Oh, not too bad. But there is no need to swing the pole quite so hard. Look. Too bad at all. Hand over your pole for a minute, please. Hey, the Master Shampoo. Defend yourself. <laughs> but I don't have a pole anymore. Master could lose their pole at any moment. Use the information that I just saw. I can defend myself, but how can I beat you without a pole? The Master's <laughs> most important weapon isn't their pole. It's their head. Does that mean I should headbutt you? <sighs> oh, I get it. And now, you are ready. This is my final offer. If you give me the monkey, then I'll give you... Uh, a quarter of the treasure. Uh, take that! Uh, okay, fine, a third. You won't be getting any treasure, Tasman. Don't get your hopes up. Hey, you! Huh? You need to let my friends walk free. Or otherwise, you'll have to enter to me and my hair gun chew. <laughs> I don't see any gun chew there. Just a teensy weensy squirrel. <sighs> hey, Martin's brothers, chuck him in the hole. Hey! For me. <laughs> Squirrel. You're never going to beat me now, you pipsqueak, because I'm stronger. And I have your little stick. Yeah! <laughs> friends. I'll get you for this! You'll have to get out of the cage first. Wait! I think I recognize this place. So that means my tribe's village must be very close to here. Well, if you mean the monkey village, 
It's just over there. Let's go. We have no time to lose. Thank you so much, Master Chang Pu, from all of us. Thank you so much, Master Chang Pu. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ha! <laughs> I think huh, maybe I'm not too bad at this. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> uh, get me out of this cage, you dummies! I'm so close to getting that treasure. <gasps> Did you hear that, Melky? I guess it's true. The treasure's very close. <gasps> we should take it for ourselves. I agree with you. Uh, open the cage already! What do we need Tasman for? We don't for? need Tasman. We don't need him. Uh, that treasure is going to be mine. 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 How strange. Has anyone seen my bowl? The monkey's treasure. There's some ruins coming up straight ahead. Hmm. Hooray! We're finally approaching my home. But this is your home? <laughs> it's kind of a creepy place. Not quite, Tig. This is the Palace of Hushed Fear. We monkeys are forbidden to go there. My home is just behind it. Hey, guys, I can see the village. Daughter. Lily, I was worried that I had lost you forever. <laughs> but I'm back now. Lily, who have you brought with you? Daddy, these are my new friends. Oh, it is a great pleasure. Any friend of my little daughter's is a friend of mine. You must be hungry after your journey. Let us all eat something, and then you can tell me about your wonderful adventures. What about the special treasures that we had to move to the secret island? They're still there. The treasures are safe and sound. But most importantly, you're safe. You are my most precious treasure. You hear that, Spike? So apparently, the treasure is safe and sound. At least for now. <laughs> so there was this, uh, this big mountain, and I was climbing and climbing, because that's where the vulture was taking Lily. And then... <laughs> <laughs> A whole treasure chest, and it's all ours. It's all ours. <laughs> I'm so glad that we got rid of that annoying Tasman. <gasps> well, hello, hello. Long time no see, buddies. Oh, uh, Taz, buddy, old pal. Milky and I were just saying how much we've been missing you. Uh, yeah, uh, we really, we really miss you, Tasman. Be quiet. Hurry and drag the treasure onto the flying ship. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tazzy Pell, where are we going? <laughs> You're going down. <laughs> but Tasman, don't leave us here. We want some of the treasure as well, my friend. Here's some treasure you can have. <laughs> That's what you get for leaving me behind. Hey, uh, what are you doing, Stop. Tasman? What are you doing, Tasman? What's happening over uh. here? Justice is what's happening over here. The losers are left with nothing. And Tasman is flying away with the special treasure on a magnificent, beautiful flying ship. <laughs> Get back down here. <laughs> that isn't even your treasure. Uh, 
Papa, what the... What is all this junk? Are you kidding? At least the ship is a treasure in itself. Anything but that. Have yourselves a nice stay! <laughs> Now I have to go and retrieve the monkey's treasure. No, but Daddy, it's falling into the palace of Hushed Fear. But what's so scary about that place? I mean, besides how it looks and its name. As legend has it, this place in question was once called the Palace of Joy. And we monkeys used to live there. But then one day, the King Cobras appeared and drove us all out. Well, I truly hope that it's nothing more than a legend. Of course it's a legend. What else could it be? Daddy, I'm going with you. Huh? Tig and I will go as well. And me, and me. You guys can stand guard here. <laughs> <laughs> when we get back to the taiga, we'll tell everyone what good boys you were. Because otherwise, Nobody will want to talk to you anymore. I don't like the look of all these ruins, Leo. Huh! <laughs> be brave, Tig. It'll be an adventure to tell Mappa about. Uh-huh. That is, if we ever get out of here. Ah! Snake! <laughs> it's nothing but a vine, Tig. Don't fall behind. It's easy to get lost in here. Now, where did that treasure chest land? Uh, where's Lily? Lily? Daughter? I found the treasure chest! Over here! Mission accomplished. That was easy. And they said this place was so scary. I suggest that you officially give this place a new name. The Palace of Border. <gasps> uh, well, we're definitely not going to be bored anymore. Hurry, kids, uh, run! And that also includes the monkey's treasure. I sincerely thank you. <laughs> oh, come on. It was nothing. Just don't, don't forget to tell everyone about how good we were once we get back home, okay? Okay, okay, we'll tell everybody. You guys will be heroes, just like all of us. Oh, but you guys, how are we going to get home now? Tasman flew off with the ship. <laughs> As we like to say in China, don't concern yourself with the future. You never know where you'll find help. 
There was a violent storm the day Lily disappeared. I ended up losing my ship and my little daughter. We searched the forest high and low, but we never found anything. That was when I realized that the wind had taken Lily very far across the sea. That very same day, I ordered for another flying ship to be constructed. A ship I could sail to go in search of her. Wow! <laughs> that means that we can still return home! It isn't quite finished yet, but there isn't much work left to do. We can help you finish it. What about the treasure, Dad? We still have to take it to the secret island. Well, uh, Phil and I will take it. Come on, it turns out that we like helping, right, Melky? Uh-huh, uh-huh. We're both good now. Yeah. Then I'll fly with you guys and show you the way. Leo, I keep wondering. What were those strange planks in the treasure chest? And why are they so valuable? I don't know, Tig. We can ask the king later. But for now, let's get to work. This flying ship isn't going to build itself. The way home. Thank you. My mind is much more at ease now, daughter. Oh, you finished the ship already. Uh-huh. <laughs> now we can fly back home. Back home to the tiger. I've missed it so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no. Yara, what is it? It's the guiding arrow. It got left on the ship. The ship that Tasman took. <laughs> oh. Well, so much for the tiger. Tell me, my friends, what is this guiding arrow that you speak of? Well, it's not exactly an arrow. It's a shard from a magic stone. And the point always shows us which way we need to go to get back home. And without it... We can't return back home. That sounds like a compass. Hmm. Don't fret, my friends, because I can make a new compass for you. In the meantime, prepare for the journey. has been gone quite a while. Maybe he hasn't managed to find a way to make that thing, that compost. Compass. My dad knows what he's doing, Tig. You just have to be patient. Ugh. See? What did I tell you? Wow! <laughs> uh, but how does this thing work? The pointed red end will always point to the south, and the blue end will point to the north. Your home is in the north. It's simple. <laughs> ah, now I understand. I got it. Thanks for that. Mm, yeah, I got it. That's a really good idea. The red end shows one thing, the blue end shows another. Which way does the blue end show? It shows us the way back home. You watch the blue end, and you follow it home. Ah. And the red end? I'll explain it to you later. You can't see it from here. Compasses and flying ships. How come you know so much? I learned from the treasury of knowledge. A very long time ago, monkeys would share their knowledge by word of mouth. The best place to build a habitat, which herbs could be used to heal, how to protect against a drought, and many other very important things. But their knowledge grew and grew, and eventually, the monkeys started to forget what they had learned. They couldn't hold all the information in their heads. 
Then one day, a wise old monkey came up with a bright idea for preserving knowledge. With the help of special pictures on several special boards, all of the special boards are kept quite safe on the secret island. That is how we acquired our wonderful treasury of knowledge. I learned how to make the compass from the information that was drawn on those special boards. I've got plenty of knowledge inside of my head. Should I draw it on the boards as well? <laughs> Half a board would be more than enough for you, Tig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it sure has been a very interesting experience, good sir. Uh, what do you say, Milky? You ready to leave? Spike, don't you want to come along with us on the ship? That's okay, but thanks. We're used to Phil and flying us around. Mice? And anyway, if we go on that ship of yours, we would have to row. And we're lazy. Ugh, you guys are so hopeless. Yeah, you got a point about that. <laughs> well, anyway, I guess we'll see you back home. Bye-bye. Mice! 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 Okay, it's time for us to go, too. Well, I'm so glad that we became such good friends. Me, too. We're all really glad. Take care, Lily. Mwah. I'm really going to miss you. Well, bye, little princess. Don't forget about us. Lily, come and visit us anytime. It's time for a snack. I can't see the forest yet. Don't worry, Tig. We've only been flying for two days. Look, guys, look down there. It looks like our old ship. No, 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 no. Now, isn't that a lovely picture? Ah, someone save me! Uh, we have to help. Ah, someone help! Ah, someone save me! What? But what happened? Thanks so much. Hey, you up there? Yeah, you. Hey, give me back my lunch. You could have just that left me down lunch. there. Especially after everything I've done to you guys. It's true, but we're not like that. But Tasman, how did you end up in the water? Well, after I took off and flew away from the monkeys, a huge storm hit, and I lost control of the ship. I ended up drifting into Antarctica. There, I was almost eaten by a leopard seal. And get this, I was saved by some penguins, and they didn't even ask for anything in return. Once I finally got the ship back up into the air, I set off in search of my native Australia. But the ship got caught in a storm over the ocean, which made it crash and fall apart. So if it wasn't for you guys, I would have been that orca's lunch of the day. Yeah, you do have a point. Tasman always laughed at those who would stop to help each other out, but now he understands just how important it is. I'm sorry for stealing the flying ship, and for everything else as well. I won't do it again. Shall we forgive him? We forgive you. From now on, Tasman will always do his best to help others. I only ask one thing. Please take me back home. Finally back home! Nah, he's here too! 
Hey, 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 hey! Where are you going? Come back here! Hello, my little one. <laughs> oh, I miss you so much. It's so good to be home. I'm so happy, my little friend. Hooray! <laughs> We're back in our beloved 